Morning. All right. What do we have? All right, what were we doing? We were figuring out the Age of Iron. Just showed me what I was building. Five there, two there. We can buy tiles, we cannot. What are we teching? We are teching infrastructure. improvement points what does the city have city has a quarry a stone cutter and a pasture and what does the stone cutter do it eats Oh, I think it actually did tell me there. Let's find out. I wanted to build another stone cutter. What does it do? Oh, it's not here. It's there. Converts one limestone or marble or one stone block into production and influence. And what's a stone block work now? Consumed for very helpful. Is your screen name the same on YouTube as it is on Twitch, uh, Zaza? Stone block is five production, one influence. I don't think it does. The upgraded version does. I was trying to figure out what the unupgraded version did. So I wanted to, what I was trying to answer was how valuable is this? This is two production per marble. And the stone block, so we can take one of each. So we need like two more stone cutters in here. Next pop point, I guess. 13 turns is pretty far away. Anyway, all right. I think I want that then. And in here, what's going on? I, feel, I still feel like you're overly effusively trolling is what I feel like you're doing right now, but I'll just unban that name. I don't really mind. Ah, uh, you weren't banned anyways, so. Yeah, overly effusively trolling. It's too bad. Okay, what are we doing here? We are trying to figure out what our next improvement's going to be and why. We have a worker down here, which seems pretty low value. We're already at 200% and more than double. So I think we can build another stone cutter. Do we have input for stone cutter here? I think not. So we could build a quarry. We also have these two new resource nodes that we found. What do we build on these? Mine produces gold.
What do these do, chat? Gold. What the hell is that? Like, how is this different than just putting a regular quarry there? An iron. Or, oh, it's a different upgrade here. So if I build a mine on this, we get an iron. And if we build a mine on this, we get gold. Mine on iron gives me two iron instead of one copper. And what do we convert? Uh convert that with we convert iron with what this is going to be another improvement I wonder if we have it looks like we don't so it's probably a tech building then what tech building might it be? It's smelting tech. So it's here? I mean, these are all just different routes to the same outcome, I guess. Alright, so these are not even worth us upgrading. It's kind of annoying. So I guess we would just build a regular quarry here. Get one limestone. So then it's two workers for five production and one more influence. Which is quite a lot of workers. What's our next most efficient upgrade here? We're only using one of these, right? We have residual. No, we don't. We have two mills now. Where are our borders coming from? There's basically nothing interesting in our borders ever again. Yeah. Okay. What does our god king stuff do? Get limestone, we get pyramids. Oh, we wanted to build one of these. Unlock the improvement pyramid. Okay, so what is a pyramid build from? Is that a civic too? It is. It's 30 points. Okay, so that's what we're saving up for. Okay. Oh, somebody attacked my fishing boat. Oh, we got an innovation too. Nice. We want 450 gold or the palace gives one culture. Like one culture. How come it didn't give me one culture? We have a palace, right? It's a building. And we do have one. Sometimes it doesn't update same turn. Looks like it's that. Okay. Alright, what was this useless scout doing? Not much. That would be it, huh? Not happy about my fishing boat being attacked. So what do I do about it? Is it dead? It's not dead. Can it teleport? Can. Alright, is that going to make me build a military unit? A military boat unit? Barbs on the coast are so annoying. I may have to. I don't want to yet, though. All right. Why is this popped? Because I could public improvement. And the downside of that is we probably want these upgrades. And this is expensive. It feels like I should be building settlers right now is what it feels like. I feel like we've hit that tech stage where that might be useful. But where am I placing settlers? There aren't very good resources around here. This mountains, forest, but our improvements don't really lend themselves to this, right? Because the tech that we build is really specific to the terrain that we have, and that has mean that has meant stonecutter, quarry, mine, 
shipbuilding and community, huh? It's a very unexciting set of stuff. I'm not even sure what exactly I want in these areas. Good morning, Nobu. Feels like we must need to expand again, but do I want this city? This city has zero resources. Can we even build on forest? Foresters. I don't have any of the tech to make foresters useful for us either. Very terrain dominated. I guess I want to expand because science is kind of limited by the number of cities I have. Kind of. Kind of would like to add this to my borders. How do we do that? What's the army? How do I get the area? Change linked outposts, change specialization, revert to pioneer. I think it might be a culture thing to absorb outposts. It is. I mean, I guess I could place a city like in here and absorb the outpost for that city. I wonder if there's distances that are allowed for settles. Like how close can cities be? Oh, you can get a palace per... Create a palace, the center of the Imperial Dynasty government. There's only one palace per nation. Okay. Let's spawn this settler. Must be a regional capital. Okay. And let's see where we can settle this guy. We need to build a military boat... And we probably need to figure out military in this age. Do we have other things we can upgrade? No, not yet, anyways. Okay. Alright, don't care about that. What is this? This is the second city has finished its crane. Civic Monument is border expansion. Plaza is arts experience. We don't know what arts experience do yet. Let's get some of those rolling just so we can see this mechanic. At 29. I can't remember what we needed for the next building, but it's more than that. And what are we building in here? We are building a stores. So we're waiting on the culture to take in it's 10 turns away. Okay. I do not like how non-combat units and combat units cannot occupy the same tile, but they're blocked by being together like this. It's kind of annoying. Doesn't that mean you can basically never escort non-combat units versus other players? Because they're going to have stacks of armies that are larger than your escorting stack, because your escorting stack is necessarily one less to have the, the non-combat units with you. 
All right, finished another tech here. In Civ 6, you could escort, though. You could attach. So what is this? This is infrastructure done. Is this the first one we chose in here? I guess it was. I thought we had construction as well. Research three of six technologies. But what's the interface look like when I have something researched? There's a check mark. There's only the one here. Okay. Oven. Converts flour. All right, so that's the next upgrade for our food. What do we want? Do we want to try to do something with arts to see what the hell they do? First limestone or marble into statues, which is arts. Hey, X singer. Unrest suppression. Artist. Rush culture, huh? Okay. Let's construction get for us. Ships and towers. What's smelting get for us? We could take smelting to work with this iron that we've found. It's not very exciting, honestly. So we would be working the iron mine, which produces iron, building a smelter, which converts iron to production. Converts two and gets two tools. And gives me engineering experience. Just spears, you get warfare experience. The smelting has a couple other benefits than outside of just pure resources. All right, what did horses do? Cav influence in all regions. Warfare experience. And scribes were what? You have returned. Paper knowledge and paper maker. Thank you, Azric. Welcome back. Ah, dude, I don't know if we want a war at all. Let's grab smelting, I suppose. But I can't say I have a very good reason for it. You can buy another fishing boat. They killed our last fishing boat here, which is pretty annoying. Can I rush a military unit to defend here? Galley. Attack 11, defense 16. And what is this thing? This is 15. It's probably good enough. All right, what does it cost me to rush one of these? Where is my cash? Right, let's see if we can move it instantly too. Go back to building our stores. Where is our galley? Our galley is there. I certainly don't want to watch that. All right, we could probably purchase another fishing boat. Set that up. Oh, I can't set it up this turn, okay. And 10 pop. Is that another growth for us? It's not. What was the tech we just unlocked? We're trying to build our unique building, but we just unlocked something else. A new subscriber arrives. Damn. It fills you with determination. Pasture mill. It was the upgraded version of the mill, right? But what was that called? Upgraded version of the mill was called a an oven. All right, how do I? So I saw that pop up when we entered this age. That um, a new subscriber, come steal yourself. We are building an army. Subbing then immediately gifting some subs. Thank you. Appreciate it, Ham. This is new then, hunting camp. I don't know what this is under. Oh, I just did an undo, which is not what I wanted to do. 
We're just trying to cancel that. All right, so if we go here, civic woodworking cooking probably. Oven is 24. Converts flour to food, so it will grow faster. And we can send, it said. We can send trades to each other, but I'm not sure how to do that. I don't see it here. Maybe it was a building or a tech that we didn't get. I think I'd rather save for this palace first and then come back to it. Or not palace, um... The unique building, the pyramid. Oh, I can. It's 30. Alright, where can I build a pyramid? Everywhere and anywhere, apparently. Okay, let's build it. I guess I should read. Does it have adjacencies? What does the pyramid do? Pyramid! Influence and culture. Feels like that would be good in our new city that wants border expansion. But I think it's going to overwrite the tile. Yeah. Okay. Alright, what does our next upgrade do for this? Upgrade one of your pyramids into a pyramid Welcome tomb. Back. Okay. Love checking out new Forex games, D. Thanks, uh, Dusk Tide. Yeah! It's different. Struggling with improvement points? I'm not struggling with improvement points, and I'm my production's pretty busy, so... I think that's not a real option right now. Does this require a full... Greater than equal to half. Okay, so I can move one more tile. No! Oh, okay. can use deep water apparently. What was I want God sword with no sources? I have sources of stone. Alright. So settler to settler and city guard. Oh I didn't mean to move the city guard. That's supposed to be suppressing. Oh okay. Go there. We can wait. Scout is running. Okay, news from abroad, sure. All right, anything else to do this turn? Doesn't really look like it. 10 and four, waiting to grow. Okay. Points are at 11. Boats can attack directly adjacent, so we'll probably just wait there. You're supposed to be going back into the city center, I guess. Alright, we finished the stores, which was what? It's a production building? No, it has a domestic domestic export. So this is sending stuff between our cities. We should see what that's like in a minute and production on this. Now we can upgrade to a civic monument, which is better influence. Don't think I care. What's aqueduct? Aqueduct is sanitation. We don't really know what sanitation does yet. There was something in here talking about like you're gonna get plagues if you don't get sanitation, but I don't see it as an actual need. So I don't know what it actually does. Sanitation is needed for, two sanitation is needed for every pop above 10. I see. So we're not at 10 yet, but we will need it in a minute. So pre-building that could be okay. The watch is a building? Oh, like a city watch, maybe? Yeah. Civic monument, influence, plaza was arts experience, encampment is military experience, and a granary is more raw food. Okay. I guess we will build this. I wanted some military units too, but I don't really want to build them. All right, let's try an aqueduct. Other place is finished is the plaza. This is nowhere near pop 10, so we can wait on that. Granary would probably be okay for food. Civic monument border expansion. It does need border expansion in this city. But it only needs to get there once in this city. Just need to get one water tile. We're almost there. Okay. Okay. Grab 
up granary. Help that city grow. All right, we have this export slot now. Oh, I have to export. I actually have to export a specific thing, huh? All right, let's export. How can I export grain? Aren't we consuming that? We are. So I can export prior to consumption. Where does it export to? It doesn't target a location. Let's try this. Let's try sending tuna. Select region to the other place. Okay, so I'm sending them five food because we have tons of food here. And they don't. It's kind of cool, I guess. Doesn't show it as an import in any way that I see. So I guess I just have to track on that. All right. Next building is the oven. Oven is going to take 24. Okay. Yeah, I should go look at what the new ages are. So I cannot city settle here. Settlement is not within two tiles. Distance from nation's borders, at least two. So I can settle here then, I think, by that logic, I think. All right, you're just guarding for, what is this, embark, I see. All right, government is at 35. What are we trying to do next? One region level, the palace increases region level. I think we can build more towns, that means. Farms improve extra food. Let's take this. I don't know why I want that exactly, but let's try it. So this is now region level four, I think. Is this civ but worse? Man, imagine just like, I, I, I'm starting to get really annoyed with questions like that, right? It's just a stupid fucking question. Is it civ but worse? It's a very different game with different systems, isn't it? It's brand fucking new. We have no idea how good or bad it is. What is the point of just like running in and just like immediately just dismissing something like that with zero effort to figure it out, zero understanding of what the fuck's going on? Is it Civ but worse? What a fucking stupid comment. Fucking hell. All right. Establish new vassalized territory. Let's do it. How many export slots does this have? Is it one per place? No, it has system, different systems. What do you think differentiates one game from another if it's not different systems? It's just like saying, hey, is this game like every other game but worse? It's just a fucking stupid question. You want to justify that and go further down that? Please dig that hole. I'd love to I'd love to shovel some shit down on top of you for that. It's such a stupid fucking statement. Holy shit. Like, I, I don't have any investment in this game being good or bad, right? And we're certainly we're certainly attempting to figure it out one way or the other, but just like blindly just being like, is it like another game but worse? Christ. <sighs> Why am I angry? Dumb comments, man. Dumb comments set you off after you hear them enough. All right, where are we going there? I guess. Yeah. All right. I don't wish to be told what to do from any of that. Yeah. All right. How do we get this new city doing something useful? Oh, it's a vassal. We don't get to do anything for a while anyways. And integration was what? It was a... We have two ways to integrate. It's like government points and... We had some ability to do it faster, but I don't remember what it was. Maybe it was a culture ability. Okay. Yeah, it's overly reductionist, perhaps, is the, the way to describe that. All right, what's happening with my boat? Is my boat fucked? My boat looks actually okay. We can't attack it though in deep water and I can't heal because we have no 
border here yet. No. Okay, uh, we wanted to try a oven. That's right. It's just like every other game because it shares a game, right? I have no idea if it's going to be a good game or not, and I'm not I'm not trying to say one way or the other. Like, I'm not trying to protect the game. It's just such a weird comment. Is it like Civ but worse? Is every other Civ like Civ but worse too? Is every other game like every other game but worse? Like, why the but worse there? Like, it'd be totally reasonable to be like, hey, how does it compare to Civ? I'm not going to answer that question because it's an annoying question to answer as well, but that would be a totally reasonable thing to, like, put it with. But why, why worse? Why worse when you watch two seconds and don't know? All right, uh, there's our oven. So this converts to flour. We have four flour? I guess we do. Here. I guess I had a better question than since you answered. I don't know what you mean. Block that. All right, that's our next improvement. All right, what are we doing with this new city? New city needs to be, oh, we can't, right, I keep looking and it's not, it's a vassal. It's so weird to settle a city and have it be a vassal. <laughs> Our nation is now in a superior position according to the defender interest from incursions. So like denounced by Egypt, who is this? Egypt. All right, so they didn't like us settling so close to them. I guess we're gonna engage with their combat systems, maybe their diplomacy systems. Can I do anything with that? Left click to open diplomacy. Restore neutrality. All right, first look at this then. What is this? Age of Iron, regions three, power score 520, your power score 388, discounted claim territory. Okay, I'm going to establish. You send an envoy to establish relations with other nations, unlocking additional diplomatic actions. Okay. I don't think we have any envoys. It's 30 to build one. This is what's happening here. I'm being attacked by them in neutral territory. Yeah, it looks like. Actually, care if I lose that scout. I'm curious if it does anything like uh, lowers my score relative to them or something. Actually, pretty good for us for running. All right, what else? Uh, 18 exploration is 23 for another. Is the boat cost go up? 26 for another boat doesn't doesn't look like it's going up. Engineering at 61, uh, 70 for our next one. Arts, these are new to us. Reduce unrest, immigration, increase a region's pop by one. It's kind of cool. So you can grow new cities if they're less than 10 pop. Promote cultural export. Target a fast, friendly vassalized territory to increase its prosperity. Okay. Uh, capital is grown. What else do we need in here? I guess we can we can get another oven, right? Since it converts into more food. And we have sanitation. Oh, we need sanitation. Oh, we're meeting sanitation. Two of two. What did we have that generated sanitation to begin with? And do I see it on here or somewhere else? Something's generating some sanitation or we'd be below the need. Are those tiles the items you can build? Um, I'm not sure what you're asking, Zach. There's there's two there's two types of building. This is like um, humankind building, right? You build things inside your inside the city to itself, and then you build things on the tiles. I built a building. I don't think I finished the aqueduct though, right? The aqueduct's still building, or did it finish? No, it's next turn it finishes. Could be the government. That would make sense. Oh, thank you, Cat Kong. 
Appreciate the donation and the kind words. All right, culture next turn. We can try integrating this into one of the territories. I think I want to integrate this into the cap, but maybe not. Um, can you? Uh, there's two ways to build buildings in this game, Zach. One inside the city itself, and one on the tiles. So, the tile improvements require workers and are kind of like buildings. And then there's like buildings inside the city, kind of like subscribe buildings that don't require workers but do a thing. All right, uh, waiting on this. I think we can get, oh, it's next turn we get our God King upgrade. Probably a couple turns on boats. All right, what's our scout doing? Just moving back. Use cultural power. I want to absorb outpost. Okay. do you get from super chats i don't actually know i don't know what the ratio is there i think it's pretty good though all right what is this this is we now have access to another quarry but at the moment we just want growth so we're at 200 percent sanitation we need another house too All right, let's build civic dwelling. What's a midden? Midden is also sanitation. Public quarters is better housing at cost of more unrest by how much? It's three times as much housing for 60% more cost. And it comes with unrest. How much unrest does the single guard suppress? More than enough. So we can build one quarters then. All right, so let's build a public quarters. All right, that should be 200, 200, 200 for maximum growth. Can I see the modifier this gives me? Is this 200%? Is that what that is? I know I have 200% of the needs met, but what does that actually do for growth? Plus 38% per turn, but that's probably from food. It's food in the combination. How do I get more domestic exports? That seems like it'd be really good to feed new cities. And can I change this? And what's the yield of the thing we're producing? We're producing flour, which is eight food. No, but we're producing something better than flour. We're producing bread, right? Bread is 10. All right, let's, and I can't change it because I don't own it. I can only send this here, okay. All right. How much food do we have? I feel like this game is really slow on the individual turns. Like I feel like I spend a lot of time looking through and trying to figure out, I mean, starting the game, so maybe it's part of that. But the information requires some digging to get to. Where's the food part there? 48 of 22, okay. We're out of improvement points anyways. Okay, region idle. This was the aqueduct. I would like... Did Granary do anything? Modify? No, it's just 15 food. Unrest suppression. Better civics. Plaza was art. Encampment was military. Let's grab an encampment in case we end up having to do anything with um, our neighbors. All right, no units to move. We hit our next uh, civ bonus, funeral rites. Upgrade one of your pyramids into a pyramid tomb. Only one pyramid tomb can be created per nation. They have a higher output than pyramids without needing to be worked. Seems expensive for what that is. How much did it give me? So this goes four and one, but it hasn't, it didn't upgrade that though. This is not a pyramid tomb. It's just a pyramid and I'm still working it. So what is it? Do I have to target the upgrade? It's supposed to bring it to four, one, and two. Yeah, it could be way to turn. This game does do that weird updating like that. 
All right, what is it to get a quarry going? 14, so next turn, potentially. Okay. Gives you a power you must use. Cultural power. Ew. Dude, culture is busy. Culture has a lot of really strong things in it. Region idle. Finish the granary. This is in the expand. This is at pop 10. I like raw production in here. Let's grab that. Also domestic export slot. Interesting. All right. Scout's coming back to heal. Don't want to just end turn. What is this? It's 103 strength army from these guys. Seems like bad news. What are we building? An encampment, okay. Government's at 47. Next one was 40. Plus one production on a palace for every two population in the region. Housing improvements provide additional housing. Let's grab the palace production. Exploration, I wanna spawn. A I don't like that it gives me these prompts when one is available. Uh, let's try that. I wonder if I could turn that on. There's no settings in this game. I'd like to turn that setting off, but I don't think it's going to be there. Okay. Alright, diplomacy is at 18, 30 for the envoy, engineering's at 9, arts are at 7. The first thing we can do with that is 30. I don't have any military upgrades. I don't understand the upgrade track yet either. I have to take techs to get military techs for getting upgrades, I guess, probably. We got 19 production too. Let's throw down a quarry. Marble. There being worked. Where did the worker come from, though? Guess I had him excess. Did we grow recently? We're at 12. We're at 12. Okay. So that's good. All right, let's end that turn. Should get a worker back from that pyramid, I think, this turn, hypothetically. All right, let's spawn our boat. Army is moved. When does it take to integrate this? A couple more turns still. Yeah. All right. Oh, right. We can't upgrade it till this. Uh, that's right. That's right. Okay. Chill till you heal. New fishing boat can go. Can I do it like this? Hold on. Cancel harvest. Move reharvest. Okay, I can. Region idle, finish that encampment. Civic monument, plaza, palisade walls. I will grab that plaza. Kind of need military units. Can we build anything interesting? Just the crossbows. I, I mostly just want to see the system, so I'm going to try to ignore it until uh, it gets worse. Chaos Rebellion. Oh, it's not me, though. Wait, the vassals of the nation of India have rebelled against their rulers. Why would I care? I don't have the money to pay it, so I guess I have to accept it. And it's three rebels. I'm India. Well, I might care then. <laughs> Thanks. All right, spawn there. 111 combat strength is fucking no good for us. All right, I guess we're, going, we're building that crossbow I didn't want to build. Okay. There's no queue here, it looks like. Okay. Got 
smelting as a tech. Let's grab horses. Shift Q one item. Okay. Uh, we get defensive bonuses. I don't know if we get defensive bonuses. I don't know how the city defensive bonuses work. Hills, regional capital. Crossbow, crossbow, total power, total attack, total defense. That's a big fucking army. Where do I see bonuses of terrain? At the bottom. Bottom of what? Army power 67, total attack 30, total defense 37. It's weird to add attack and defense together to get their army power, but okay. Blue box when you click on a tile. Luck now. Scrubland. Doesn't tell me shit about defense. Mouse over hill. I'm trying to mouse over hill. Now I see. So only the terrain that has a modifier shows the modifier. And it's a 20% modifier for hills. And forest. Okay. All right, did we grow again? 13, we didn't. Still a million turns off the culture. All right. Is there culture bombing in the arts? There was... Kinda, okay. All right, what is moving around in here? Just a Greek thing, I think. All right, what happened to here? We got attacked. A warrior got low. So we should be able to back this warrior out specifically. Okay. So the city has no defensive bonuses here. I thought I settled on a hill, but maybe I didn't. Or maybe it just doesn't show me the city bonus when the city is selected. It's definitely a hill. I don't know if I'm getting that bonus or not. Is there a way to tell? I guess I could have checked the combat log from that fight. If they attack us again, I'll check the combat log from the fight and see if I can find if we have um, defense from that. Okay. All right, boat is healed. Kind of wanted to explore down here a little bit. Battle interface said 20% bonus, okay. All right, we're at 23 production points or upgrade points. So I think we're ready for another upgrade. Uh, I believe we want another oven. Can I build from this interface? No. Wait, where did that worker come from? Whoops. I have no idea where that worker came from. It's possible it was working some stupid tile like a grassland. I don't know if the adjacencies matter. I guess this is a city center, so a building adjacent to that would be good, but I don't think I have any other ones for that. I know there's a free worker, so I'm building the building for. We don't have it, it's 24 for the oven, so it's next turn anyways. And we are already, oh, we're not at, uh, we're missing sanitation needs. Interesting. I grow, I grew this turn, I see. I guess this wants to be production. I, I don't, I'm not enjoying their city interface particularly. All right, uh, seems all right. All right, I want to see that combat. I want to see the bonus. So where would we see it? There's a log, right? 44 attack versus 22 defense. Where were you? Oh, there's a defense adjustment, 20%. And is that, that's from hills. So where's the city bonus? Or does the city bonus require something else? Ah, thanks one hand clapper. Top 
right. Top right, be right. What? The top right, be right green. Seems like I can open that interface again. See these additional units. Let's see. All right. So capital has finished a crossbow. I want to build that plaza. Where did the crossbow spawn? It spawned here. Okay. All right, let's go there and that whole group can chill. Integration is at government level and timing. It's gonna tell me when that's ready to integrate, maybe. This is the scout. And we can build that tile now. All right, second oven is there. Okay, so we've consumed all of our grain and we're producing bread here. We're exporting this because I haven't changed it yet. City's healing. Our next available thing is what? We want it. It's here. Legacy. Social fabric points from God King Dynasty Legacy. Pyramid improvements one of three. Social fabric ingenuity. Social fabric points are enabled in engine number five. Homeland engineering point. It only costs one engineering point, but I have to have pyramids times three. Can I build pyramids in other cities or just the cap? The city is randomly at seven now. Didn't notice at all. And what's going on with this border expansion? It just takes forever in this game. Yeah, the game's just at a different pace than I'm used to. All right. All right, what is that unit? I don't know, well, let me select it. Okay. It's a merchant. All right, I would like to border, I mean, when is that gonna grow? It's gonna grow in a million years. I'd love to border expand this city. To do that, I would have to, oh, city placements are culture though. So we're never gonna place more little cities, I guess. All right, another crossbow here. What's the other unit I have here? Scout Cav, didn't mean to grab that. All right, finish the plaza in the capital. Civic monument is more influence. Watch is unrest suppression. Granary is raw food. Let's grab the granary. I want more export slots. Are these tiers unlocked by scouting? Unlocked by officials. Requires region level two. Upgrade line market level one. Doesn't tell me what it does though. What does it do? Foreign import and diplomacy. Temple is culture and knowledge. Unlocked by region level two. Belief. Stone towers. Exploration again. Stone walls. Fortification. Theater is arts. Library is tech. Coliseum is unrest, suppression, warfare, and culture. What are we teching right now? Horses. What are horses going to give us? They're going to give us influence in all regions, cav, and warfare experience. And I can tech the other ones, right? If I'm not in a rush. Let's tech belief. Get more science, I think. All right, I need more pyramids. Pyramids are quite a lot of production points. How do I get more production points, too? So we have our kiln up in here. pit one production one improvement point why doesn't it show me the improvement point on this interface first of all fuck this interface 
Although, are these summaries here? Kinda. These plus those are summaries, huh? And it's still missing stuff because it doesn't show me improvement points on here. One from Crane, two from Homeland, two from Goods Consumed. But how is that useful? I have two Cranes in my empire, right? Like this other city also has. This is a global pool. Why is it restricted? Why is it giving me this information in a local city if it's added to a global pool? Like it's nice that I can see where the city is producing, but. Yeah, I don't know. I'm still looking three places for this information. If I want the summary of what my tiles are doing, I'm looking top left, middle here, and right here. Are we having fun? I'm enjoying exploring. I don't love the interface. All right, so what are we trying to do? We're trying to figure out uh, sanitation in here. And how much food are we at right now? 61 of 26. All right, let's change our domestic export. Oh, I wanted to upgrade this. When can I do that? Five turns. I mean, either way, we should change the export. We have tons of extra food to a better export, which is bread. Okay. And our next building is going to be what? Another stone cutter, pretty reasonable. What's a saw pit? Saw pit is logs. Does anything else works? Engineering experience is nice, but we kind of maxed that already, didn't we? So what's our next available thing for, um, it's just clay pits. This is how I get improvement points. I can build one of these now. Do we have a worker? And this was clay pit to conversion. So conversion did what? Converts one clay. Oh, I see. We got another one out of that. Has global stats, local stats, and cities, and good stats in cities. But it doesn't tell me all my like this this interface here, right? Is the the yields I'm getting from the worked tiles in my city. But it doesn't show all of them. Why doesn't it show me that the we're building improvement points out of the clay pits, for example. I guess it shows me it as a resource. And I'm just supposed to know that this resource also includes improvement points on that. Like, I like this little summary top left, but I wish it just included the other information. I do need more improvement points. I don't know if it's worth building another kiln. It would have to be another clay pit into another kiln, which is two more workers. We're going next turn. I guess that's fine. And that's going to prevent us building more pyramids. I kind of want more pyramids. I think I might wait for more pyramids. Maybe. Maybe not. Because we need to make improvements in here as well. I think I actually have to build more of these. Okay, uh, let's build a, another clay pit. Which were grassland only restrictions, right? And they're under gather. Is that true? It is true. Okay. Show me, it shows you goods. If you hover on goods, every good show you what it gives you. Sure. But I'm uh, trying to avoid hovering constantly on every single thing and then mentally adding them up. I'm looking for tooltips to do the work for that for me. For summary screens and things like that, right? Uh, where was this extra worker? It's just next turn we get the extra worker. Okay. <laughs> exactly. All right, where did this worker go? Hey, we just grew. He's working the public quarters. No. Can I lock this so they never work these? Yes, it looks like I can. 
Locked workers will not be automatically reassigned to other work tasks. I wonder if that means they also doesn't include going in there. I don't know. I can lock an empty slot, so presumably I can, but I don't know. All right, government at 49 again. Four more turns here. Is this one per turn? Yeah. Locking doesn't stop them from going into there. Okay. Viral illness crisis. So we have to get sanitation up again, which we're trying to do. What was our next level of sanitation from? It's a building on the ground, I guess. The midden improvement, right? Stores in the expand. Expands up to seven. It needs pot. It needs housing. We really need production points somewhere. I think, uh, Aqueduct is fine. I guess we get the warfare exp ticking. Yeah. Slow moving game. Another barb ship coming in there. Okay, borders just expanded. So we would like to build a. Oh, it's an improvement. I want to place a. a uh... I don't. I'm not super keen on these barbs having deep water access. So they're spawning from somewhere I don't know where, and I can't go clear that out, which makes water really miserable, doesn't it? All right, and I can build this here. A dock is 12. Means I could swap those over to here. Okay, this land is also opened up. So I need one more production point conversion. Actually, I need two more of those really, but I need another kiln here. Dude, is this even efficient? So this is one for one. If I work one of these, if I work two of these, it's two for two. If I work one of these and one of these, it's two for two, but I get an engineering point. So this is actually not that efficient either. What is it again? It's a, none of these things. I guess I could go for the easier way out route, which is this route. All right, the clay pit is a kiln. 19 for a kiln. Okay. Need to right click those always. All right, let's get that kiln. is a wasn't stonework it was gather for kiln apparently no it's not it's clay pit all right i don't know what the fuck it's under I build it from here though kiln unless that's the sheep don't want to place on sheep all right i wish to work the kiln We can't though, right? If we work the kiln here, we don't have the input. So next growth goes to kiln. All right, growth in two turns. Sanitation, bad. We have a government upgrade. We have culture next turn. We can integrate this also two turns from now. I don't think I actually do have a government upgrade, right? Since I don't think there's any, I mean, I guess I could buy, oh, right, one of these, yeah, yeah. One knowledge on palace for every five population in the region, it's like two. 
or one sanitation trash improvements housing improvements let's grab this okay uh, you can just chill there I suppose we finished belief which gives us building options we go back into the era we're working on and take courses all right this is the cap I should have unlocked the time yeah science and culture building there temple let's build that the city finished its encampment let's build a temple I don't know if there's religion in the game or if it's just represents science and culture Warfare ticking up, but I don't want volunteers. Diplomacy, we're wanting to spawn a merchant. Spawns a merchant. Use merchants to increase the vassal's prosperity to generate w or generate wealth from other nations. Do we know what prosperity does? Prosperity modifies how much a vassal will send to you in tribute each turn. Prosperity can be increased. Okay, but I don't want to. I want to actually eat that. So I don't think we want that. All right, so we'll save these. Maybe envoy in a minute. Volunteers we don't care about. Arts we can't do anything with yet. So I'd like to be reminded of spawn ship. I'd like to be reminded of... I have a shit ton of engineering points right now. Minus 80% cost for stone walls and stone towers. Minus 50% stone construction. Reduced cost of expansion to hills. Is this good? What else do we do? We have a lot of other things for engineering points. I guess we can, now that we have our, our sieve upgraded, we could do these instead. Expand town. Use the town's level multiplier. Okay. Spawn pioneer. Pioneer was for these little like outpost things. And public improvements is just basically make uh, these points. I think we need these. Let's do this a couple times. Is there a limit to how many times I can do it? No. It goes up in cost though. Alright. We did not get many land tiles. City almost needs a town. I don't know if it does though, really. It just needs things to work. It needs tiles. Expanding to five water water tiles was pretty useless in the end, wasn't it? I needed one or two. I guess we get more border expansions soon. Alright, let's try placing a pyramid. And pyramid was worth quite a lot of influence. City also needs the conversion element for quarry, which is a, another stone cutter, right? We need 10 more for that. All right, let's buy another 10. And let's build our quarry, our stone cutter. And then let's work our stone cutter. We're working water tiles. Feels bad. All right, producing two stone blocks. Okay. Need tiles in this city with these, this population or figuring out what else. We have a domestic export. So we could actually export the blocks or the, I guess the input version too to have someone else work it. Kind of weird. But no imports here. Okay. Can you integrate this next turn when our culture ticks? We have horses next turn. Okay. Rank up. Hold the line. This hamlet shall not fall. Mordred Viking. Thanks for the raid. Welcome. We're uh, exploring this game. Pretty early days on it still. Don't know if I like it or not but uh, something different. All right, let's try funeral rites. And let's funeral rites that one. Kind of want another town too, but culture is just slow. Let's funeral rites this pyramid, which means I don't have to work it anymore. I mean, that looks like I still have to work it. Oh no, that's the, that's the working yield, I see, okay. Shouldn't we have a worker back? Oh, it went to the kiln when we grow next turn. I see. 
All right, what did the tech give us? Tech gave us military points and influence in all regions and the ability to build cav. All right, do we want to check tech for Age of Kings? Let's see. Just want to see the progression of the game. 50 warfare points and nothing to do with them yet. All right, let's grab this city one more turn. Should have the government points for it. The dynasty itself. Maybe eventually. Diplomacy, we're waiting for 30. I think it should remove these red notifications if you're telling it to watch for something else. It's just annoying to have a pop-up that you can't resolve, that I don't want to resolve. All right. He's from abroad. Boat is chilling. Finished the temple in the cap. Grew in here as well. More borders, fine. Unrest suppression, I guess, is going to be useful later, and palisade walls are entirely useless. I kind of need this. How much would I get? Generates 12 improvement points per turn? Holy shit. All right. We'll take uh, levy workers. Temple in the other location pops at 8. Let's build this civic monument. I don't want to end turn. This is the turn I can integrate here, right? Integrates 38. Looks like it goes up. I don't know if this is by... And my culture upkeep goes up a lot. So there might be some benefit in having vassals in. Because culture is super hard to come by. Very powerful. And looks like it's going to be eaten. Alright, we need to build another building in here. We're at 16. What is the excess from this right now? We're still excess, excess clay. Generate two clay, we have two kilns, no excess clay in here. We wanted to build another pyramid. Pyramids are 30, I guess it's next turn. So I want three pyramids so I can try the next upgrade in this line. So let's wait one more turn. And we need sanitation in there, which is a, oh, the midden heap. We probably need to get that so we don't get plagued, I guess. Rome has been eliminated. No pop-ups there, those would be my notifications. We can integrate this if we want, but it would screw our culture. We don't have 38 government points. We do have 36, okay. I thought I told you to chill. Maybe it's the other button for chilling. Guard. At eight, at 15. Border's still a little restricted. Workers work in the gold. Do I need gold? I mean, maybe a little bit. We're going to get another innovation soon. All right, what does a midden heap cost? And where are the restrictive tiles that can be built on? I guess I can look directly. Furnace to equipment weapons and oven. There's a midden. Midden is 32. Where, does it, where can it be placed? It can be placed on the sheep. I have 46 this turn. Okay, let's place that. How did I upgrade my pyramid to a pyramid tomb? I took a government policy that let me do it, and then it was culture once that happened. We build a midden heap on the sheep. Does that have to be worked for the sanitation? Looks like it does. Oh, does it, it's worked for more. Where did that worker come from? Presumably public quarters. All right. It should help the growth. Pop grows in three turns. All right, we have 14 improvement points. The city needs tiles and it needs improvements. What is going on here? This is 
We have one unused marble, so we'd like another stone cutter. And we want to annex the vassal if we think we're okay with our culture getting tanked again. It's next turn. Yeah. Threatened by them. Let's integrate here. Okay, I want to swap sending food to the new location. All right, a lot of improvement points. Uh, we're missing housing in here. And we're missing tiles. Culture is to get a city center, which would let us expand our tiles. Other than that, we're just waiting. This is going to expand next turn for tiles. So that's probably OK. I guess we're going to wait a turn there. We have. 22 exploration, 30 diplomacy is that envoy, which I wanted to do. All right, engineering, expand town, rebuild, spawn pioneers. Pioneer was for the, uh, those outposts. I don't really understand those yet. We should probably build another one of these. Now we have a little bit more resources to see what the hell it's doing. All right, let's move the envoy. I really dislike how the military units block the movement of my non-combat units. It's just so annoying. All right, and then send this guy over here somewhere. I move the guard as well because it auto-connects them. And there's an undo, but still. Okay. Region idle. This is the new city. It wants growth and border expansion. Border and this is... Okay, that's not necessarily... Border expansion is the plaza? No, it's not. It's a civic monument. Let's build civic monument. Rush for a thousand. So it looks like the rush cost is scaled off the production of the city, not the actual value of the thing you're building. All right. Anything else we want to do this turn? No, it's next. Uh, the city grew again? No. It's flashing that I have a lot of improvement points. No shit. I guess a pyramid would be a good one to work in here. We just drop a pyramid down. Give a bunch of um, influence, right? So border expansion. Let's make sure we work that. All right, I don't know where I'm going with this guy yet, but I'm going somewhere. Got to find some resources. I wonder how far away it can be. That's right. We are telling Egypt we're better at it. Okay, this is the envoy. I wanted to try this unit. So do I move it in to use it? Open negotiations. All right. Let's see what this diplomacy system is like. So now I have options here. Pay 30 diplomacy. Get a one-time 20 diplomatic opinion. Send GIF for diplomacy from and wealth. Demand coin. Demand end war. Are we at war? Power score, your power, discount claim territory. Are we established? Demand religious convert. Open embassy. Pay a hundred wealth. A 30 diplomacy, which we don't have yet. Dude, it is expensive to initiate diplomacy with another nation. Or rather, we don't have a lot of point generation there. All right, anyway. Okay, it's good to know what it does, I guess. We have promotions available here. Promote to leader. Promote to leader three. Promote to leader two. Promote to leader one. Wait, why can't I have promote to what leader one and promote to leader three? Which one is the guy with? How do I individually promote a unit? So the guy who is a leader has the promote to leader button. 
And the guy who's not a leader has promote to leader three button? Doesn't make any sense. The crossbow has promote to leader three. I had two selected, I didn't. This is the warband, it's individually selected and that's promote to leader. Oh, maybe I did. Ah, I see, it's not any of those. I don't understand the leader thing yet. It doesn't seem worth it. All right, uh, this is my guard. City guard needs to be in the city center chilling. All right, I had quite a few things I wanted to do here. I wanted to swap 25 improvements. We've built the pyramids. We have three pyramids. Our next government policy was restricted to having three pyramids, right? No, it isn't here. It's here. All right, pyramid improvements three or three. Social fabric ingenuity. And engineering XP plus one. So available 17. Can I see my engineering income right now somewhere? No, I can go to individual towns and look for it. Domain five, domain three, domain zero. So I have eight, I guess. Does it show me when I hover? It does, okay. So if I take this, is that going to nine? Wrong one again. It is nine, okay. All right, uh, we have pop here and pop here. This city wants improvements. I thought its borders were supposed to grow this turn. <laughs> My interface is so. All right, uh, I will place a, I select the tile I can. Let's select the dock here. Make sure we're working the dock. And I believe that means we can create food here. Housing's an issue. We just need the tiles. The tiles need to happen, hopefully next turn. Do we have any new buildings we can build? No, we're still just levying workers makes sense. Okay. All right, borders finally expanded. Above 15 populations, regions develop a need for luxury, satisfied primarily by importing or producing goods with a luxury value. Books and jewelry provide luxury, as do any goods produced at a plantation. Unlike other needs, luxury satisfaction will never drop below 100. Okay, how do I tell if it's a luxury? Is it gonna... They really want me to micromanage my population growth too, huh? Only a bonus. Do we know what the bonus is if we have it? Just growth rate, probably. All right. Um, I think we do have luxuries there and here. The city did grow to two as well. So if I wish to gather through a plantation and work that. We have flax. It doesn't tell me it is a luxury. Oh, I need a, a guard here, don't I? Okay. Can I import now? Domestic export. This city doesn't have domestic export because it's built through what? Don't recall what gave me that. This city has export though but I don't think any of these count as a luxury. The luxury is gonna have a jewel gemstone icon. The green thing you're saying. Is, is it gonna be an addition to the stuff we're generating? How come this place doesn't generate a luxury then? Since it said all, um, I gotta read that again, I guess that tooltip. What is this? All right, what is that, F1? Prevents government spirit ages miscellaneous. No search function, huh? Oh, what do we think this is going to be under to find luxury again? Maybe I can try it through the, the screen. Yeah, that's what I want. Did 
this unit population. Yeah, but how do I click this? Right click to pin open. Luxury is a regional need. One luxury is need. Unlike other luxuries. Yeah, yeah, but where do I find one? I don't know how to tell if something's a luxury. Is there possibly an overlay? There is, I don't see it. Okay. All right, uh, we do have a pop in here, I believe. Yeah. Okay, we have excess clay. We don't have excess clay, two to two. All right, what's the next thing? We're working the midden in here to help grow. What's the next thing we need in here? We have excess marble, which could be pushed into more stone cutters, huh? We need border expansion as well. Keep undervaluing that. Foresters do what? Logs, which we don't care about. Hills, forests, deep water, and water. How do I border expand in here? I guess I could work more water tiles, but I don't really want to. When is it? When are we going to get it? That tile very soon. I guess we wait on that. All right, what are we building with these 18 points? This city needs housing. Which is civic public quarters. All right, what else does the city need? Another pyramid could be placed if we care about the border expansion. The 30, which we're nowhere near this turn. Okay, we wait. Do we want any more of these? Quarry cost reduction, expand. I, I want to do my next sieve, but we're attacking for the next era. So hypothetically, we're going to get there in a moment anyways. Get another can't get another boat. This has gone up in cost again, I think. Warfare is still useless to us. Expand town, public improvements, expand town, increase the town's level by one. Can I increase this one past? No. Town's at max level. I guess it only goes to two. Okay. All right, civic monument done in the expand. This is an aqueduct. I can't build a town with that uh, that feature. I can only expand the town. So I mean, I could upgrade this one, but it only has two adjacencies. It's pretty weak, right? I guess what else we're we using engineering points for? Maybe another pioneer. Town is at maximum level. No, it's not. Oh, it comes in as a level two when you integrate the the outpost. I do want my, I mean, we have tons of engineering. Faster growth in the hills, sure. All right, how close are we to our tech? Six turns, culture in two. We have more government points. We're waiting on this. Although, farm improvements, housing improvements, and sanitation improvements. I think we're going to wait. I have no idea what I'm doing with this guy. So let's keep moving him. 23 improvement points. Two pop there. This city needs another improvement. What is it? So, we're not exporting anything. We're not importing anything. We could export if we had a reason to. Production to another city seems reasonable. Let's... Export a stone block to the new place. Okay. Uh, I was going to try to transfer these fish to the other location, but I don't know if I can do that. So let's cancel harvest, reharvest. Looks like it auto defines them. It might be maybe the boats have to go to the place that spawned them. All right. Uh, what else do we want here? Oh right, the town specialization could be done too. That's a good point. All right, I've not done that. Uh, lumber town, fishing town. 
mining town, coastal town. Okay. All right. So we want to could build another dock, but I don't really want another dock. I like the exploration points for building boats, but this is just a slow expansion thing, right? Uh, what is it? It's building that, so it needs an improvement. Got two workers doing nothing still, just working random food tiles. All right, what would be an improvement that would be useful in here? Oh, the output here was still good. We still had one marble. So a stone cutter takes First, one limestone or marble to one stone block. Okay, so let's grab another stone cutter, I guess. And work that. Good. Still worker. Could use a better source of food. Don't know if we have one. You can gather farm and clay pits. Dwelling, but we're good. I should do it this side. Some cutter clay pit, dock farm, fishing boat, forester. I can build a fishing boat. Fishing boat improvement. Oh, is this a permanent way to work these? I haven't built one of these yet. Let's see what it does. All right, so we put one there. It's now a workable improvement, I guess. And it produces one fish, which is five food. Okay. All right. All right, luck now has grown. Uh, we could build it an improvement here. This is almost certainly gonna be better, right? Quarry, work one limestone. What is this? How do I tell what this resource is? It's coal. I can build a mine or a quarry and it's the same yield out of this. I must get something beneficial. Consume for test. Okay, let's try a mine there and see if it's four then. Does it give us two iron? It gives us one copper and one iron. It's not iron, it's coal. Okay. All right, what resources do we want? I mean, I see there were resources to steal over here. It doesn't look like there are. In fact, I feel like I have every resource in this area already in my borders. Is there a benefit to having these landmarks in your borders? Doesn't look like it. So I guess it is just this coal over here and that's it. We're gonna grow to the grapes when we grow. I kind of want to see how far I can place these. I'm going to try to place it there and see if it lets me. Oops, didn't mean to end turn yet. I wanted to look for improvements. I get got by that every single turn. All right, continue the move on that character. Use a cultural power. Zorb outposts, local reform, funeral rites. I can do this again? Only one pyramid tomb can be created per nation. So no, I can't do this again. Cutting edge was what? Innovation points. Propaganda is new. This reduces chaos. And we probably want to create a town in one of our new cities. Could be there to grab tiles. That would be pretty decent. Build a town there. You have returned. I can upgrade the town here. Filthy seven, filthy seven, filthy seven. Thank you, Rice. Expand town. All right. Two tiles. It's working. Should help with border expansion there as well. Okay. Reminder: spawn a utility ship. Yes. Okay, that can move to here. 
I want to be reminded about that again. Engineering, we're using government. We might have government still. What do we want to do with government? We could grab housing or wait. Let's wait. Okay, uh, we're at 16 pop in the cap. Were we at 16 pop a second ago? No, we got a, We have a slacker worker and we have 27 improvement points. Okay, so what do we want to improve next? Something on these hills possibly? We have outputs that we're not converting yet. What are they? We have two marble that really would like to be into our stone cutters, right? I don't know that quarries, a raw quarry is gonna give me what? A raw mine or a raw quarry gives me two production. And the, what is the building called? It's called the stone cutter. A stone cutter converts marble, which is giving me two into five and influence. So it's much better to use stone cutter. Two free hammers for making job or a mining town. I think it is a mining town. It is already a mining town. You don't have to you don't have to work the adjacent improvements to get the town bonus. Oh you mean if I build these and don't work them, I get the bonus. That's an interesting So thing. how does this compare to Civ? You are the Civ expert after all. Well it's the same genre as Civ, I'll give you that. I don't know past that, it's a lot of different systems right now. It's a much slower paced game. Not no not annoyingly so yet, but maybe annoyingly so eventually. Alright. Can I build I can't build those here, so I have no flat tiles on which to build I can't clear forest. It's kind of annoying. All right, so we're gonna build a stone cutter there, I guess, eventually. I wanted to see if this is true. How do I tell? So if I look right now, the production in this city is 34. And if we plop down mines or quarries, we're hypothetically getting a discount. I mean, I can make the quarries cheaper. No, it's not that one, it's that one, okay. All right, let's throw a quarry down here and see. What was it? It was 20, 34, okay, 34, build quarry. Oh, it's a mining town though, it might not like this. Mining town, town level two, mining town. So tell me what mining town does. Three for town adjacency. Two adjacency for mining town. So it does care about quarries. Yeah. All right. All right. I hate that overlay. Okay. We want to plant. Harvest goods. Oh, I have two ships here. I brought the other ship, sadly. Alright, what is this? Alright, we have 37 again. Got a new flat tile. Did it grow this turn? Excellent. Uh, we'll build that now. This is going to be our stone cutter. Let's make sure the stone cutter is being worked. Still have one slacker. We have one person working that quarry. Okay. What do art points do? They give us reduce unrest, immigration, which is growing a city when it's under 10, and promote cultural export. Target a friendly vassalized territory to increase its prosperity. We should immigration the luck now. Okay. I should I, I should have looked to see how it interacts with growing. We're gonna grow next turn too, so it doesn't look like it changes when you're growing and how you're growing. 27 points here, we have borders here. We got this now. We should definitely improve this. One of these maybe eventually will give us a luxury. I thought maybe wine would be a luxury, but it doesn't look like it is. Okay. All right, I kind of would like to, we grow next turn. I guess that's fine for now. All right, re 
Legion Idol. Aqueduct finished in the expand. Let's build a watch, I guess. We have nothing else to build in here, so it's basically a watcher levy workers. Does this mean our tech is? I guess we could build military. Let's build a cav. I was gonna say, does this mean our tech is slow or something else? Let's go here. Wait a turn. I don't want to end yet. I want to build here. What does this need? So this city has um, our, uh, limestone. This is the conversion from our one of our innovations. So let's build a stone cutter there. I want another friggin' pyramid. I wonder if I can do that right now. I could. When do we grow our borders again? Never. All right, let's build a pyramid. What is it under? It's not under civic, huh? Oh, I can't place there. Why? You limited to one per city? I have 36. Cannot be placed here. Ah. Uh, why? One per region limit. Okay. That's why. All right, let's build that stone cutter. Let's make sure we're working it and it's locked. Okay. Did then we check that borders were never expanding again and they immediately expanded? I guess that's good. All right, completed a civic monument. Oh, that's why, because the border civic monument completed, which gives a boost to that. Council is knowledge, government experience, and temple is both. Let's grab council into temple. All right, I want to try putting an outpost here because I don't know what it does when it's so far away. And change linked region. We can go put it anywhere, huh? And what did we do with these? Trading post is 30 improvements, one additional generated goods from this tile. What does that mean? All right, let's try the let's try changing the linked region to Bolpol, I think. Since Bolpol needs tiles to work. And then if I select by the way, that's linked to here, which is kind of wild, isn't it? Where are those tiles I just linked? They're not available for working. So it's not like I can put workers there. So what am I doing instead? I get the goods, but what does that mean? If I build the post on it, I get the goods. So right now this is outputting, now let's build a trading post here just to see. And if I look there, can I see what that's outputting somewhere? One additional goods from this tile. So I should see this as food, right? Is it sheep? Oh, this is actually, we built it on wheat. And the export from wheat is three wheat. Do I see wheat? I see two wheat here, but we have two wheat locally? Oh, it's generating two wheat. Okay. Um, this is not specialized. What do we have around us? This is gold, farming, lumber, mining, coastal. What type of improvement is, are these farming improvements? It says plantation, is plantation a farming improvement? Possibly. Plus two adjacency for adjacency bonus. Four adjacency for town bonus. Okay. All right, where do we need food? Can I, is there, um, 
there's no summary of my towns. Like there's no town summary page for their actual incomes. Don't need it there. It's at 200 as well. 40 of 20. And this is at 200. So they're all max growing right now. I guess it's fine to have this for Bopal. In which case we should probably build a wheat processing center, which is a cooking mill, right? Mill to flour. Oh, but the other place has an oven. That's okay though. Convert two wheat to two flour. Why does it show me as the input also being the same export? Okay. All right, is this someone else hitting the tech or us? We hit it. Age of Kings, building a castle by specializing outpost during the Age of Kings provides a culture bonus, generate culture per religious population by founding or joining a religion, founder join a religion with the found uh, religion culture power or adopt religion uh, arts domain power, new national spirits, okay? Yeah, it's an ugly game. I don't like the animations particularly either. Can form or join a religion. When cultural power is available, select found religion on the arts domain. Okay, we're gonna do that in a minute, sure. Okay. All right, arts are at 14. Uh, adopt the religion is 50. Machines, medieval university, guilds, dry compass, professional army, organized religion, and feudalism. Okay, what do we want to do? Get another fishing fleet improvement. Gather fishing. I wonder what this actually means. Oh, that's an improvement. I, I guess I place it on fish in my territory. What do guilds give me? Diplomacy. One per nation, two diplomacy from everybody. Bonus diplomacy per nation of which you have a high diplomatic favor. A jeweler produces luxuries for growth. Seems like we kind of need that. A winery. Let's take this for luxuries. We'll worry about the rest of it later. All right. We are upgrading from God King to something else. Arts, Diplomacy, and Engineering. Warfare and Exploration. We have quite a lot of Warfare points we're not using, and we have a bunch of Engineering income in general. Can I see what it does? I click once to see, right? Spawns an Iron Prospector. Do we know what they do? He locates Valuable Iron. Haven't we already unlocked and found Iron? Plus one production from Coal. Seems not very good for us. Hello, oh, Dr. Keen. Cons and Crusaders. I really don't want to war passive AI on a low difficulty. I want to see what that, and I want to see the systems here. I suspect I do not want to spend on there. We could get our other incomes up somewhere. Diplomacy, shogunate, and spice merchants. And arts are chivalry and theologians. What do spice merchants do? It's not good. Vassal population growth. Peasants spawn peasants at each of your vassals. What's a peasant? Theologians, unlock the monastery. Let's do these guys. What is the, what do we upgrade this with? We upgrade this with 
What are these points? Arts points. Alright. Theologians go. Select. Okay. Alright. How come that didn't do it? Oh, I'm a god king and a theologian, apparently. Okay. I thought I was going to replace, like, the governments, but it looks like it's just the next level, uh, next layer of that. Okay. Alright, uh, what else are we doing in here? We're going to, we have 29 improvement points this turn. The city has grown again. How many slackers? One, really. Two slackers here. Do we have many more tiles? We have no more tiles. Get another mine, I suppose. We want to work that. I don't think I care. No more fish in our borders. When are we going to grab this tile? Forever from now. Okay. So what are we doing with our improvement points? We can always spam buildings around here. We can improve in here. What does the city have left over? We're at five pop now. We still have leftover stone blocks. Oh no, that's the one we're creating. Do we get any more buildings when we get to our next era? We might be able to cancel this. Civic monument for more border expansion. Watch a keep. How do I get a castle? Isn't a castle worth culture? And a treasury. Do you think keep is a prerequisite? Do you think keep is before castle? Or do you think castle is before keep? I feel like castle is a lower version of a keep. Maybe it's the other way around. Build a castle and see. Oh, there's a, there's a keep. Let's build a keep and see. Castles and keep have nothing to do with one another. In this case, we'll build the treasury. Castles on my outpost, not the region. On my outpost. Religious scribe is new. Converts to paper. I don't think we have paper. Vats is new. Converts grapes or rice to wine, giving us culture. Or maybe not new, but I haven't built one yet. No pasture public. Press saw pit. There's a press. Hunting camp, dwelling stone, clay pit dock. Okay, I don't know where this is yet. Specialize the outpost. Oh, you think this is going to be a castle? No. I think this one's gonna be a castle. Ah, we found it. Okay. Good work. What's a new resource? T. T over there as well. Tobacco in here. Okay. What does this tile do now? So if we want to focus this tile, how do we gather tobacco? A plantation? All right, I need to grow in here. I guess the mine is what we give up for that. Okay, grow in one. All right, I want to build another uh, pioneer when we can. It's coffee and bopo as well. Thanks. Next turn, I guess, we're at 15. All right. I wanted a new government. I guess plus sanitation. Oh, we're waiting on this 80 still. Okay. We're waiting for this to spawn as well. It should happen in a moment. Can I upgrade any of my military here? We got... Still can't upgrade this warrior. Or maybe it doesn't work that way. Weren't we building a... Mil we built a military unit in here. All right. What else do we have to build now? We built the cav. Oh, it's still under construction. That's the guard. Okay. Okay. 
didn't take discipline. Upgrading spearmen. Is that a tech? All right, what were the other things the Age of Kings or whatever wanted us to do? It was Age of... We wanted to do something with religion. I don't quite know how to do that. Thank you. Okay. What was it? Culture. Yeah, I guess we don't want to do it through arts anymore since we took an arts upgrade. So we probably will use our culture to build that religion, which is next turn. All right, we've finished a council in the third expansion. Arts experience got a lot more valuable for us. Culture and knowledge, still good. Let's build our plaza. City finished its cav. Uh, let's build a city guard for the new city. I just turned off my webcam, bro. So I'm eating. There's our cab. We can bring this this way. And I'm waiting on this for engineering. Okay. This is a bazillion government points. Oh, it's right now, though. So we could take our next government upgrade. Gives us two culture return. But I want to wait for this innovation thing to fire before we take it. So let's wait. A new subscriber. Come, steal yourself. We are building an army. Thank you for the gift of Versus subversus. underscore Maritimus gifted a tier one sub to Axioms of Dominion. They have given 101 gift subs in the channel. So we can get a monastery. However, this, I don't know what this means. I get the building or it just appears one or what? It seems good though. We'll take it. All right, now we want to grab the reform. Since we're at plus four and zero. More culture. Culture event is ready. Let's found a religion in a capital city without an existing religion. Yes. Oh, I wonder if religion spreads. Do I want to start with a bigger city or a... Do we know anything about religion? Yeah, I thought it was right click to pin. How do I pin it so I can go look at the next part of it? Big city. All right, custom religion. Dude, there's a skull icon for religion. It's Taoism. All right. Okay. Started a religion. What does it do? Any new buildings? Maybe. Are there religious buildings? Religious scribe. We wanted vats, right? Convert grapes to rice or wine. Where are we getting grapes here? And how many grapes do we get? How was it? There. Convert two grapes.
But I don't think we have two graves. I think we have one grape, right? Yeah. This place. We can upgrade this, I believe. Oh, can you only upgrade one spot from a trading post? It is a castle, but so what? Oh, is there a cooldown on that? Oh, it costs 40 engineering to make that change. Rip. Okay. I didn't notice the cost, honestly. All right, let's find another pioneer. my pioneer I want to go there okay ah, two barbarians blocking my stuff from the age of kings it's possible to move into victory age unlock the age of conquest you must be at least 150 percent strong if you move into conquest you're attempting to win the game like other ages conquest has unique content rules any nation, not just the one that causes history to move into the age. Age of Conquest is an early history of victory age. It's designed to, intended to provide players who are dominating a way to win time to play the remainder of the game. Okay. That might be fun. I don't really want to fight, but maybe it doesn't require a ton of fighting. We'll see. All right, I guess I'm going to move some military over there. What else do we have? Still can't go into deep forest. It's too spooky. All right, what do we have for points? Eight. Eight's not a very good number. Kill my scout, I didn't notice. No, the scout's holding on just fine. All right, somewhere, okay, third city's finished the plaza. Town center's government points. Uh, shrine is a new building, culture and knowledge out of that. We'll take a shrine. Okay. Uh, I want to be set for a reminder on this, which was what? It was unlocks monastery. Didn't we get monastery through our innovation? Like, where do I find that? It's not a tile improvement that I'm aware of. So I feel like we're being scammed right now. It was a bonus to monasteries I construct, I see. 
Okay, I wish to be reminded when I have enough for this. Can I remind on that? I cannot remind on that, sadly. Okay. I hate these these floating notifications here. Makes me feel like I have a bunch of messages on Discord that I haven't responded to. Did I upgrade the monument? I don't know. All right. Government at 38, still Imperial Dynasty. I want that one next, I think. All right, so we have Scout moving to there. All right. <clears throat> I go settle over by the T. This is, this is, that's fine. Region idle. Capital has finished a treasury. I guess we're going to take a civic monument in the cap. Alright, can we convert this back now to a castle? I don't notice. I didn't notice that that cost me points or not. I think it did. My engineering's at zero. It must have. Are they still being. And we now have. Enemy adjacent to capital has not used capital attack. Oh, it has an attack now. I see. So it protects. It's an outpost that protects the things around it, I guess. But doesn't really, because they can pillage it and move off next turn. All right. Barbs did not move towards us annoyingly. Is that a barb camp? Yes. All right, uh, we have 18 pop here and a bunch of shitty workers. We need improvements again. What should that be? It's a barb there. Oh, uh, if I do that, it's my guy. I backed up and he's dead? Oh, he's there. He's there. Oh, I didn't back up two tiles, I see. Okay. Completed the shrine in the new city. City's at seven. So new cities grow pretty quickly when you can send them stuff. Town center is government points. Granary is gross. Stores is domestic export seems useful. Let's grab stores. Sanitation's bad. But we're past the era where sanitation mattered besides growth, right? I don't know if we can build another midden heap. I don't know if they're uh, building you can have multiple copies of or not. I also don't know what else I can build in here. All right, so religious scribe requires religion, converts paper to wealth. Converts paper to religious text, but we don't have any paper. What does paper generate from? Maybe here we need to go back for some text. Scribes maybe get us paper. Forester into paper maker. All right, let's grab scribes. Let's attempt to build a forester. Let's work the forest tile, I guess. 20 points left. What is the city doing? Uh, still needs more people, doesn't it? All right, exploration's waiting to trigger. We need more tiles. We're waiting on this. Okay. The barbs killed themselves. Is that a promotion? Upgrade tonight. We do it. Okay. All right, we can plant here if we want. 
I don't know if the outpost can be deleted by this barb camp. Let's hope not. Use cultural power. Propaganda. Create town. Kind of be nice. Eureka. Cutting edge. Funeral rites. Funeral rites doesn't help us pass one. There's found religion, but we already founded it. Alright. So we want a town. Towns are limited to how many? Like, do I know? I actually don't even know. Can I create a town over here? Looks like I can. Region one of two. This must be my major tech. Could be there. We get some tiles. Could be over here. We get some tiles too. Any useful tiles over here? Not really. Maybe there. Let's grab that. Okay. Change this to forest specialization. I can't actually change it apparently. All right, region idle. Capital has built its civic monument. Cannot build past this. Actually, unrest going up again. So it's probably time to build the watch. What happened to the guard I built here? He's just sitting there. Yeah, he's just built it sitting there. All right, let's bring this other guard to there. They just immediately blew up the outpost. Okay, that's very sketchy. Because they're expensive to build, the pioneers. And they are... Uh, it takes a full movement point to deploy like that. Alright, let's attack into here. And attack into there. Okay, 40 exploration points. Sure. All right, we can probably buy ourselves a boat out of that. And I'd like another one. Okay. This is the guard unit. Continue. This is the expansion has completed its night. Get a watch while I'm thinking about it. And move our knight. Okay. All right, what do we have? We've got 60 government points and 50 arts points. What is the first one of these cost? 60. Okay. Uh, 35 improvement points. What do we wish to improve? Got a new tile there. This place needs worked tiles, essentially. This place needs sanitation pretty badly. And faith. Each religious population in the region requires, above five requires one faith. Got a bunch of lumber mills in there if we want them. We have no flat tiles in here. And what were we thinking we needed? We were thinking we wanted to try... Dude, I still don't know where these monasteries are. Where do I find the monastery? Oh, it's next tech. So we need a sanitation building, which is just another midden. Cannot place a second midden here. Either because of tiles... Looks like because of tiles. So how am I going to deal with sanitation in here then? No. Don't know. Alright, if you've founded or joined a religion, the people start to develop a need for faith. Faith can be provided through one of various improvements in capital buildings. Building a holy site in a capital or placing a religious scribe improvement will generate faith. Meeting a religion's faith need lets you grow your religion, which can provide bonus culture and reduce the regional unrest. Okay. Alright, so this guy wishes to head back to 
there. Same with that guy. This guy wants to go this way. Need to buy another spawn pioneer. I've got a fishing boat to place. Uh, this is the guard unit. Alright, finish the watch in the cap. For positive or negative unrest, I guess. Positive suppression. I guess we're going back to building tile improvements or points for this. Alright, uh, we can take this? No. We need more art points. What else could we be building? This city's at seven. Needs a little bit of housing. It's probably worth placing. Uh, let's place a house here. Civic public quarters. Okay, should help it grow again. It needs a bit more food. Not sure there's any easy ways for food there. What are we exporting to there? We're exporting production. First impressions, uh, slower pace than Civ. Really likes its building and population micromanagement. All right, so the barb just attacked my fucking fishing boat. Where's my military vessel over here? I've got one, but I don't know how to find it again. Thought I left it over here. There it is. If I go here and attack that, let's go on the right side outliner to see units. Dude, I hate the barbs just showing up from deep water and pillaging your fishing shit. It's so fucking annoying. All right, let's combine armies there and kill that. You're going to there. You're going to there. And you're going to there. All right, what is this? This is our city watch. We got scribes. Finish out of tech in a minute. Let's choose production. We should have new buildings available from that. The library now. Good. Let's build that. Uh, what are we teching for now? It was Age of Iron. Could try to get that military upgrade, which was discipline. One turn seems fine. We have 60 improvement points. What do we want to do with them? So this city is missing food somewhere. Could just be a farm there. Not terribly exciting. City needs border expansion. And lumber mills. Let's build another forester. Okay, I thought we already built a forester in there. I built it somewhere else? No, I that's two. I do have two there. I just don't have it worked. Let's see. Alright, we're at 59 of 60 there. Have a million points in here. Let's get sanitation. Does that help us at all? It did. Still missing faith. Okay. Scribes and monasteries, supposedly. Monastery gets unlocked next turn. They're killing my fishing boats because they're dicks. It's just like 25 barbarians show up over here. Killing all my fishing boats. Which are expensive. Does it reset the cost of recreating them when they die? Sure doesn't. that combining armies screws up their queued commands. Right, what is this? Go. Finish that. Let's go back to our current era. 
And I don't know what we're going for here. Medieval universities, sure. Alright, finish stores in the expansion. So library, a treasury, a town center for government points. Government points less useful now that our government doesn't build out of those. Camp McCrane, work camp, watch. Let's grab the library. Uh, we need a granary though. Let's grab a granary. City has finished the watch. This is the expand. Build a library. Alright, we can take our monastery improvement. Let's find if we can build a monastery now. Is it a improvement or a built location? If it's a built location, it's after a library. If it's an improvement, let's find it. Paper maker, religious scribe, scribe midden. Dude, it's confusing tracking where all these buildings are coming from. So, let's start chat. All right, let's find this stupid monastery. Definitely not in here, right? Mid inscribe. So we wanted the caps at eighteen now. Monastery is an improvement, supposedly. So maybe it can only be built in this city, because this is the only religious city. It's not built on hills. Buildable and outpost. So you think it changes here? Oh, you think outpost, outpost, not um, not towns. Do so you think this guy, when he gets there, will be able to let us do that? All right, we'll see that in a minute then. All right, uh, capital has how many slacker workers? Zero slacker workers right now. But we're not getting very good value out of couple of the places really I could stop working this dock for example feels like it's super bad right now work that forester so now we're getting two logs we want to get the improvement for that in a minute it needs to be an outpost in a hill tile it's oddly specific huh they're just wrecking my fishing boats over here Age of intolerance. What is this problem? Faith satisfaction is less than 50%. I guess I can run the boats, huh? All my boats are dead though. I killed all my fucking fish over here. Sucks. Uh, there's a promotion upgrade to spear. Yes. We have a spear promotion here as well. No, because he's a leader. Have a culture power available. What does propaganda do again? Reduces chaos. All right, nine chaos. How much chaos do you think it actually reduces? Minus ten, apparently. Spawning another utility ship. All right, engineering points at 48. Let's spawn another pioneer. This guy can go over there somewhere. A 
bazillion warfare points. I can now do reinforcements, restore some of an army's health and morale, the cost of combat experience. Do you think this 113 is combat experience? It looks like it is. This says combat experience, not warfare experience. What's the other one here? Forced march. All right, let's do that. Let's go ahead and warfare reinforcement this place. Okay. Did drain another resource there. Okay. okay, a million barbarians still fighting us here. Crisis of intolerance is upon us. Okay. What does it do? Lock the age of intolerance as your nation's future. I mean, it's our first negative age from this. Ah, dude, I gotta right click those animations. I'm never gonna remember. Go there. And you go there. What are you doing? You are the army. Just go there and chill. Promote to leader two. Retire. Earn rewards based on veteracy level. Better units are equal to one, have one. Destroy leader. And this is promote to leader four, promote to leader three. This is now a level four leader. What does he do? Okay. Let's found this outpost. There's no hills in this area, sadly. So if the monastery does require a hill, we're not gonna find out. All right. Change specialization is still as castle or outpost. I can still build here for trading posts cannot build on these other locations. So it's just resources. But I will place both of those. Who are we attaching it to? This is 2T. I don't think it matters. Let's link it to our cap. Okay. All right, capital itself has completed a library. These monasteries are very elusive, I gotta say. Let's put another knight, I guess. What is this? Unrest level three. I see. This place is about to get fucked up. Where's my guy who's supposed to be standing in the middle? It's just not. Okay. All right, and what is this now at? Still plus two from chaos. Unrest next turn, plus 1.5. We need to build a building in here. So how do we do that? We go to build and we swap to a encampment. Nope. Watch. Could rush it for 800 gold. It's not. No. All right, a million more barbarians over here. We could start bringing in resources there and there. Yeah. You just want to reduce unrest needs to be in the region of capital tile. I do have a unit on the regional capital tiles right there. And I didn't think other units did. I thought it was just guards, but you, the idea of building a second or third guard hadn't occurred to me, so it's probably a good idea. It's a very slow-paced game, isn't it, chat? Regular military units have four reduction. What is a guard? Six? Where do I even see that? Yeah. 
And I gotta say, it's but the UI is making it work to keep up with what's going on in my empire. Innovation, the precision catapult. Sure. Okay. All right, I wanted to found another outpost here. You're just chilling. I don't want to end turn immediately. All right, what are we doing with engineering? Expand the town. Sure. We need more points. To get those, we're going to have to stop building things. One turn on the night will do it. Oh, I should have specialized it. It's true. Fucking Barb attacking the camp, the unprotected worker. Just to be annoying. Lived up. Okay. Scale of one to Civ five. What's the first impression? Slow, ugly, unpleasant UI. Systems are complicated enough yet that I don't understand them fully, so it's kind of tough to answer what they're doing. So I'm not entirely certain is the answer. It's probably time to get rid of this scout, huh? Since it can't be upgraded. Alright, what is this? This is a spear. Okay. Cultural power. Absorb outposts, local reform, Eureka, create town. Is there a downside to absorbing outposts? What would happen if I absorbed this and it became above my town limit? Just won't let me. Let's reduce chaos again, I guess. Okay. All right, we've completed our night. This is in the cap. Uh, I wish to build more improvement points. And we are weak on sanitation and religion, but I can't do anything about religion, sadly. I've been scammed by founding this religion. It has not helped us in the least bit, has it? All right, where is this? This is the first expand. I guess we're also generating workers. Or uh, improvement points, rather. All right, uh, we can throw down trade outposts here. And these are being, we need border expansion again. I guess. All right, lucky now, or luck now, has a shit worker too. So there's a way to get luxuries. I don't know if luxuries are local yet. I guess we could export them. So the way to get luxuries was wine, but not tea, right? What are the buildings? There's so many buildings, man. The paper maker was diplomacy through logs. Religious scribes was One paper maker, it's one log. So it's two logs, two paper makers to get to one scribe. One scribe gets us religious texts, which are a luxury and religious stuff. So we probably need to do that. What's a regular scribe? Okay, where it's one paper to knowledge. 
All right, so that's gonna be a next turn thing. Okay. The small button on the city panel, hammer and wrench is kind of helpful. You can look up what resources. Uh, what are you referencing? Small button on the city panel, hammer and wrench. The hammer and wrench is engineering points. Are you talking something else? Maybe this isn't the city panel. Let's rename the city. This is go to next city. Don't know what that is. It's the building we finished. That's unrest. It's the top when I exit the city screen. If I click there, it does what now? Build helper. Check mark means I have it. I don't know if that's helpful or not. It's good to know it's there though, thanks. All right, we're attacking this barb for the 25,000th fucking time. Okay. Chill. Wait, where did you, oh, you're the horse. Go there and chill. Okay. All right, expand has finished this. Treasury is gold, town center is government points, crane is production points, library is tech. I think this is gonna be library into aqueduct, I think. Okay, that should decrease unrest pretty rapidly. All right, that's our castle. These are two outposts producing tea. Doesn't matter where this goes, I don't think. We'll send it to, I really don't think it matters. Luck now, I guess. And this one, more coal in here might be relevant. That's oh, iron. Tobacco as well. This supposedly probably wants to be there. It changed link region here. So does that mean we're now getting, we haven't built the improvement yet probably? We have built the improvement. Oh, there's a monastery available. Uh, why? Because that's a hill? So it overwrite the resource, it's just a hill. A hill not in our city is how you build a monastery. A weird requirement. All right, let's do that. All right, so this city now should be getting two luxuries and religion. But we still need sanitation. To get sanitation, we're gonna need tiles. We just don't have any tiles available. You know what I wanna do right now, chat? I wanna restart. Is that unreasonable? We're getting a sense of this. Tiles are more important than I have uh, than I would have expected. You build so many improvements that it seems relevant. Your cities are growing at a reasonable amount of stuff. We seem very cramped in this corner. It doesn't seem to be a lot of AI interactions going on. We got a little bit better sense of the barbarians. I mean, we got a lot more information from this one than we did before. It might be nice to see again. Yeah, I do also eventually want to see the future ages, but I want to I want to, I'm like trying to get a sense ahead a little bit of what's coming so I can plan for it and build for it and then engage with it. Yeah. All right, let's do another one then. What time is it, by the way? Noon. All right. All right. New game. Quick start. A color. All right, we'll fix that in a minute. Color that we can see, that seems like a good one. All right, we'll go up one more, see if the AI gets a little bit more interesting, see what other penalties are there. Culture seemed excellent early. Uh, what else seems good? Another scout seems decent. 
innovation sounds kind of interesting. Getting that early might be nice. Extra production seems fine. Influence seems fine. Discounted pioneers sounds a little bit interesting. We forgot all about claim territory. That's a tech. Scout and influence are best. Culture is fine. What is influence? Oh, this one. I really liked culture. I think I'm probably taking that again. I'm a little tempted by innovation to see if it changes things up. Yeah, exactly. It was a huge increase and it was relevant. The early culture was like a big multiplier. I will go culture again. I don't like the idea that some of these are better than others. I would like them to be... I, I feel like you probably should choose that bonus after you see your lands. And I think it would be much more interesting if they were well balanced. What do you think of this start? Kind of garbage to me. Do the vision on these units is something to be desired. I mean, it would be nice because we haven't done anything related to forest yet. So that might be kind of interesting. But this start looks very uninteresting to me. All right, you know what we need? We need some innovate. We need this this game dev to take the to steal the fucking good shit from the games before them, like every other game dev has ever done in the entire universe of fucking development. And we need to see the quality of life options that Old World brings to the table. And one of those is a restart with the map settings that you already have with a different map, which would be nice right now. Because what I want to do is I want China, I want culture. And I want all the things I've already picked. I just want a different start. So it would be nice if we could do that. But I guess we aren't. Why um, does it feel like this game has gone like three generations backwards in terms of UI? It doesn't even save my previous selections. Why not? All right. I didn't actually like water very much. The start seems even worse than the one before it. Okay. This is like cheating. Should we just not do this? Should we just take what we get? I don't know. Unsure. Unsure if I care. Yeah, I guess that is a recurring sense of frustration over the 10 years I've been doing this, right? Uh, it's so cool to see the innovations for games when they come out, and it's so annoying when the good things are not maintained or retained or built upon for the next generation of things. That's why my answer to Old World has always been it's a next generation 4X. This is like a, this is like a complicated previous gen 4X to me. We'll see. Water is decent with seafarers. I don't want to do water again because I don't like the random barbarian spawns from deep water with no uh, no ability to interact with them while they're in deep water attacking my fishing vessels. I found that very unpleasant. I don't want to build a military boat to plant on every single fucking fishing tile. It seems insane. But I can't go like kill the barb camp that's spawning them because I can't reach them. I don't know. I'm not even sure they were coming from a barb camp. They might have just been spawning on the edge of the map. Like, fuck that. I'm no interest in dealing with that repeatedly. There's already enough, like, things that suck up my time each turn here that are not particularly fun things to deal with.
Yeah, <laughs> can I just get off the coast? I just don't want a coastal start. The last six of our starts have been coastal. There's a map option. Is there though? Stop doing quick start. Are there more options there? Okay. New game, custom game. All right, maybe there's more options. Maybe this is what I've been missing. Eight players, sure. What is a nation builder? Let's see. Continents, islands, inland seas, Pangea. Oh, Pangea. Could be continents. Maybe continents would be fun. Map size. Large world. A medium world. I guess if the default says eight and there's eight, we'll go with that. Map seed. Okay. spaces in this apparently. Oh I can. Why couldn't I a second ago? Okay. Alright. It's a very bare bones nation creator, isn't it? <laughs> uh, I'm kinda tired of re-rolling. Do we just go with this? I think I might just go with it. I, oh, I'd select it if I didn't take it? Oh, no. It doesn't default. Okay. All right, I guess we are restarting because I didn't get the one I took. All right, so how did I do that then? New game. Custom game. Human filthy robot random. There's China culture, which is the one we wanted. Homeland and culture. That's the default when I select it. Okay. Don't want continents, we want a Pangea. Okay. Okay, okay. All right, we have an inland start for once. Neat. AI strength remained on adept. I'm excited because this is a different start. And I want to play the start. I don't want to go back and change. Can I change the difficulties mid game? No. <laughs> I don't know, Chad. It was 10 rolls to get here. All right. We're staying, we're staying here. We're just going to go. We'll just roll with the depth again. It doesn't matter. We're still, we're still just testing systems more than we are playing. But I, I don't want to do any more restarting. Okay, all right, all right. All right, government is tribal. I feel like there's some, oh, research. Okay, so we have first production and research decision. I want to try this. There was a forest-based faction of some sort, but I don't, I don't know enough Maybe I can find it. Government's improvements, national spirits. This is what I'm interested in. Okay, when I click on it, there's nothing. You're lying. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> All right, well, I was gonna try to plan ahead and figure out which texts I might want that are related to this. Again, I, I, I can't help but see this specialization as being somewhat negative right now. Going back and taking previous era techs was a nice way to catch up for that, but it's kind of annoying right now. So I can't see what I need to excel with the forest guys and what the bonuses actually are. 
The wiki limits you to the era you're in? You're joking. All right, you're not joking. Well, it's a decision. Okay. Settling on forests and being able to move through deep forests seems relevant to our life right now. I want an early scout anyways. We do have two plantation. We have a camp and a plantation resource, right? I'm going to go scouting here. We don't have any other bonus resources that we can see outside of this grape. Which is a bit of a slow start maybe, but we'll see. All right, uh, we should be working growth. Four turns versus what, by the way? Which is eight, okay. And then we need to choose a building. So I massively, two games in a row, I have massively undervalued uh, border expansion. So there might be something to be said about that here. What does tribal do for us? Knowledge, food, improvement points. You can spawn a warband. Kind of want a second scout. Is that unreasonable? It's probably unreasonable. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with another scout. We can't expand, right? I guess we're looking for the monuments and oh, we want goody huts. Goody huts were actually super powerful. All right, let's grab another scout then. All right. Okay. What are we waiting on? We're going to be waiting on six as our first one. I really have, I don't know why they're their own. They have a system already designed to let you remind you when these things happen. I should be able to use that on my government points. There's no reason not to be able to do that there. All right, what are these? These are olives. You have returned. All right, we just hit six. Oh. Good luck, filthy. Siv the next lamel. All right, thank you, Dijon. Culture is ready. First town was kind of nice to get down. Local reforms was very good. And we have a scout in three turns and a scout in two turns. Do we want an army right now? I don't really want an army. Where was that coming from? Government. Man, but one food is not feeling very strong, is it? This can't just be one food, right? Increase food production in your homeland. One. All right. I mean, early bonuses, I guess, scaled for where you are in the game. Interesting. Improvement points are at six. Can I make it remind me when we have enough for a hunting camp? I can, sweet. Okay. Let's me work a hill. I just prefer to, are we already over 200%? Doesn't let me work a hill, but it lets me work a deep forest. So that's useful, I suppose. Yeah. This feels like a settlement rather than Expansion, right? It's far enough away that we'd rather just place right in the middle and get all of those. We could border, we could there, which is surrounded by hills. We don't know what's over here. We could wait, but I think the culture cycles. What's local reform do? 50% yield. We get scouts next turn.
that tile has three trees that tile has three trees it's one out right that tile has five trees or four trees one two three four i think i'm gonna border expand there then all right let's go ahead and town there okay could have also been there it actually had the same number plus closer to that it's probably better there actually oh well All right, let's get some scouts in a minute, perhaps. Government's at two, four for this. We need six. Scout is next turn. We did grow, so let's fix growing again. We're at 150, so we want to lock grassland. This is the best we can do for food. Okay. All right, scout. Met another player. How long can we can go through? One more turn, we can go through deep forest. Let's get one more tile of sight there. Okay. Legion idol, we built our scout cav. We want to build our dolmen. Dolmen or government? What does government get us early? Knowledge, super good, 20. Improvement, these are really, really, these are all really strong. All right, let's get our government going. I do need border expansion too. All right, let's go town center. And end. All right. We still have yet to find a single goodie hut, which feels kind of bad. We didn't get the tech we did, so we can move through deep forest now. All right, we should have got a scout from this. I need, uh, I'm gonna need food because we can't grow right now. Tech always good, defenses don't seem good here. Workers give me what, eight improvement points immediately. Sounds kind of nice. All right, I don't want to be yelled at with what to do. So uh, you're welcome to offer suggestions, but try to phrase them as suggestions if you would, please. All right, let's go this way. Scout down to, there's a goodie hut. Okay. Got a reminder for a hunting camp, excellent. All right, so that's our camp there. So now we can grow again. This is 200%, this is probably one over, huh? No, it wasn't 175, so that's fine. Okay. All right. Warfare experience or get an archer. Warfare experience did almost nothing for us previously. Let's grab the archer. Archer has movement this turn or no? Does. Okay. Okay, that's the edge of the map, annoyingly. Another goodie hut, excellent. All right, cap is doing what? It's building town center. We get culture next turn, okay. All right, uh, we have 10 government points. We could grab a unit. I don't want a unit. Let's grab the goodie hut, see what it's giving us. Exploration experience or government experience. We want government experience very badly right now. All right, this is the warrior. It's a shitty sight. Archer there. Scout. We can check to see if the map ends here, but it does. So we're going to go up and around, I guess. This one wants to go left. There's a city there. All right. So government is expand and policies. 
could get immediate knowledge, which is super nice, and immediate improvement points, also very nice. We don't have many tiles in our borders that are good to expand to, though. And we, we can build foresters, which are what? Production and pastures, which are exploration. This is pastures for these, right? I think we want that expansion. All right, so we're gonna local reform the cap and we're going to spawn settler at 30 there. Okay. Let's go there. City state there. Why does it show me as attacking if I move in there? And a barb there, okay. Barb there as well. Okay. This is my scout, right? Hopefully, I mean, this looks like nice land over here. Lots of bonus resources anyway. I'm trapped in here by the barb, how annoying. This is also a military unit. I want the barb to kill itself on me, but I wanna make sure I have defensive bonuses. So I guess here? Okay, can't do anything about you, so you're a heal, okay. All right, what do we wanna do? We just grew again. We're at 200% growth still, so that's fine working that. If we, we don't have any better production tile, so that's A-OK. -okay. This one is uh, wealth and meat. We're teching for, we just finished knowledge. Wait, I didn't take knowledge. Oh, it isn't, this is workers, okay. All right, farming reasonable, but let's look. So up here, this is plantation. This is farm, 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 farm. Okay, so we want farming. All right, this is what we took last time, by the way. Although I think a slightly different order. Okay, we got this border for some reason. It's exciting. And we have 13 production points, but what do we want to do with them? What can we even build? build a clay pit which requires to be worked it gave yield right as well as production points it gave me clay and we can build hunting camps and foresters foresters are giving us it's some it's for some reason extremely annoying to me that i don't get to see what this actually gives me like it doesn't tell me the yields Okay, that, if I look at it from here, it shows me. So a log gives me two production and a clay pit, which can be built only on our grassland tile here, will give me one production and one improvement point, which is much better. But we will lose the food from our, this and we're actually very short on food. Could be here too. I don't think I can build a clay pit here though. I can't. You can build a hunting camp on just random shit. You can build just three food on random shit. I had no idea. So what is this one giving? Two of those? No, it's giving mon uh, food and wealth. Farm gives four food. We don't have a farm here yet. No clue, honestly. I suppose we were looking for specialized forest stuff here, but I don't know actually what those are. There's 
There's not a lot of food in our cap. A little dubious of eating this tile for production tiles, but maybe it's okay. Just how are we gonna ever grow? Just these points are super valuable and we got an eight boost. Going to double would be really good. We have so much production if we get food elsewhere. All right, let's try this. I'm gonna run that clay pit. All right, we're gonna work that. Okay, I only had 150% growth now because we lost the two food tile. I may also build a camp there soon, we'll see. Okay. All right. Oh no, another sieve's over here. Wait, what is that? Oh, that's the that's a town they have outside. I see, okay. All right, we finished our town center for government points, excellent. I want, I want exploration points because I think this is gonna be useful for the forest stuff if I remember correctly, but I also want border expansion pretty badly. I don't know which of these is more important to begin with. Let's go with border expansion. I undervalued it last time and Maybe we could do better. All right, when can we build a settler? Next turn. We did not find shit for goody huts, did we? Okay. All right. Let's spawn our settler. Going this way, I don't know where yet. We'll bring the archer with it. Or try to. Uh, I know that fought, but why are we standing there? Let's run there. Okay, what is this? Continue move. Okay, it doesn't do anything right now. All right, we're, wait, did we lose a pop? Weren't we at three? Oh, we built a settler, so we lost a pop. I, I always forget that it does that. All right, when do we grow next turn? That's fine. We're at seven. Could throw this camp down. Just at raw three foods, kind of un unpleasant, but we could replace it later. We do need growth tiles. Throw our camp down and work that. Okay. Anything else to do right now? Culture in two turns. We used our government bonus. What's the next one we want of these? We want that one at 14 or that one at 20. Okay. All right, still don't know where I'm going here, but that seems like a nice move if we don't get it killed. Goody hut. All right, we finished farming. So when somebody else enters the Age of Bronze, does it automatically throw me into the Age of Bronze or does it require that I still tech it? I have to tech it. How close are we to be able to afford a library? I'm gonna take Tribal Elders. I don't know if we're going to wait to build it or not. All right, so this is finished. We're working clay pit. We're still at 200 off this. We're at 150. It'd be really nice to have those improvement points coming in. I guess we're going to take a slightly lower growth rate to do that. Okay. All right, tribal. Still this one I want. 
Okay. Culture next turn. Scout dies. Took more than half damage last turn. It may die if I do that. I can't heal it. I don't have any exploration points, but I really want the goody hut. Goody points are generally very valuable. I think we heal. We heal for 10, right? So we're going to heal to 35. And we took 26 damage. We should be okay, right? Alright. Spawn a warband. We can spawn it on top of us or get warfare experience. Well, I think warfare experience is basically useless. We'll spawn a warband right on top of us. Helps protect the scout. Okay. My first impression has changed. I'm learning more about the game. It's just easier to understand what's going on. We could settle. Can we settle on desert? I don't know. I want to steal the tiles from these guys. I mean, that's such a nice tile. Oh no. I, I, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this undo ability. Okay. Alright, culture's ready. Raise army. Does this spawn two warbands? Is that what that's saying? Spawn warband, spawn warband? It's a lot of dudes. It would have been nice to have this next turn. What happens if I don't use this? Can I save it for a turn? Like if I wanted to settle there next turn, then immediately city, could I do that? Let's do that then. All right. Government, we're waiting on 14. City is building, okay. Use culture power as a cancel, and then, I don't know what happens if I settle on resources, I haven't done it yet. I'd love to get that scout back, but oh, my scout was pushed out, okay. If I settle there, I get these, and I could put right there, I don't wanna do that. Can't settle till next turn, let's move there. This is my scout, but it's alive. I think I'm gonna go heal. Right, I've got a scout and a warrior here. Scout wants to keep looking around. That's the edge of the map. I'm gonna go through the city state. I'll escort it. God, I hate that I click on this and it does that. I, gotta, I just have to right click all those red things every time, I guess. All right, we're waiting on the culture again. That's two turns of wasted culture. Someone said it overflows. I'm kind of curious to tell if we can even notice. All right, we're growing in six turns. Food is not good in the city, huh? All right, what else could we be doing right now? We have improvement points, but only six. We're teching. Our building is done in four. It's the border expansion building. We could be going for the next era, but we aren't yet. Okay. And hover over culture to see my culture. 31.5. Yeah, I can see it. It was overflow. Cool. Thanks. All right, let's get the scout through. Undiscovered location. Regroup. Survivalist. Discover. We can do it next turn. They can't attack me. It's too far away from them. So that should be fine. Let's bring this guy back. All right, I'm going to try settling here. Oh, I can't build them a building because I don't own it. Or can I? Can I build them a town? Oh, I can build them a town. Sweet. Okay. We got another one. A couple turns. Nine turns, apparently. Okay. Alright, anything else to build? Eight. Uh, I forgot that we had to vast. I always forget this because it's just not how I normally play Forex. I forget that we have to wait for that to vassalize before we can do anything with it. it means we're quite a ways away from where I want to be on this. All right. 
forward settle India. So I can move. There's another undiscovered there. Should discover this one. Okay, five exploration, landmarks, and combat experience. Sure. All right, we're at. I'm gonna take knowledge. We're gonna go in here and heal. Okay. Uh, I guess I should go defend this in case you can chill. Scout through here. We got a tech available. I want to go for Age of Bronze. All right, we got a builder out here in a minute. We have culture and ages. Okay. Uh, probably the main chat right now for uh, Millennia. Don't even think we don't have a channel for it yet. All right, that's fine. I want to get this next culture place. Discover landmark. Okay. It's a barb there. I think we just fortify there. Let the barb kill itself on us. Maybe we can move through it. Explorations at 20. I could spawn a scout, but I don't wish to. Uh, this is still not grown yet because we still don't have enough food. Well, we are working that point. What do we need to eat this? We need enough time to have passed. It's 15 turns and then it's some amount of government experience. How much? Don't know. Okay. Somebody else entered this first, I think. Said we were on the front of this, weren't we? No, oh, we were there. Uh, no, we were not there. There's somebody else. Thought I saw stars, but maybe it was a different color stars. Okay, Barb and an allied unit there, or a non-hostile unit anyways. Let's keep looking around. Kinda wanna heal this. They can't attack me, it's too far away for them. That's fine. All right, we finished our border expansion building. Council is knowledge, which I want. Food stockpile seems important in this city because this city's so bad. And I want this when I can, but let's take the food stockpile first. And I think we're good. Warfare at nine. Exploration at 20. Government at this number. Okay. You make a new channel for money? I don't know how long we're we playing it yet. You're welcome to. I suppose we always delete it. It's not the end of the world one way or the other. Keep moving around. Should sit this in the center if we have um, unrest suppression. Go kill this barb. Barb camp there. If I, don't, I mean, I have an archer there. I guess we could kill this camp. There's some value in doing that. Okay, two turns. We don't know what they picked. Oh, our, pop, our city grew. We should have looked at that too. All right, moving closer. Next scout to here. Barbs everywhere. All right, pop four. We're probably working the other reasonable tile, which is fine but unexciting. We have another improvement we could build. We could build these lumber mills, huh? I kind of want to do this one when we can. Our camps never respawn. Okay. How long till our borders go somewhere useful? Ages still. There must be a better tile that we could be working in here. Clay pit, dock, farm, fishing boat, forester, plantation, pasture. Man, there's good tiles, but they're better in this city. I think we wait. Okay, we got into the bridge, Age of Bronze. Good. Did our scout live. Hmm. 
Yes. Yes. Okay. Go back to scouting. All right, we want to choose. I don't want to choose tech first. I want to choose this first. So naturalists are still here. So what went? Somebody else got here first. How do I tell what was already chosen? Or are they not competitive? I thought they were competitive. Maybe this one went because I can't select it. Or this doesn't have a cost. Oh, I see. They've been picked. The ones that give no rewards are already picked. So I'm like sixth. I'm fifth into this age. All right, what do these do? These are the ones I think I think I wanted. Maybe not. Hold on, let's take a look. Bonus two food from meat sources is kind of good for us right now. The rest of this isn't that exciting. Naturalist is food from foraging unimproved tiles. So this turns forest tiles into two food, one lumber, is that right? Dude, that can't be good though. How many of my yields are already at three? It will be two food, one to work those. But that doesn't seem that good. I mean, the, the border expansion into forest would be nice. ton of plantations around us. The naturalist innovation. Oh, is the innovation tied to the race? And we oh to the end you mean? We get culture from unimproved forests as well. Were there bonuses to um, plantations somewhere? Like, is there an actual one of these things that targets plantations? Because this would be meat, whatever bow hunter does, meat, and that. All right, I want to try this though. This sounds interesting to me. The forest one. I, I, actually, I just want to see how it plays really more than anything else. So let's let's grab this. Okay, we're gonna select these guys. Okay. And that should mean that we're at 20 of 25. And we don't have any more yet, so we have to generate more exploration points. So to do that, we're gonna need to build. After this, we need to. What was it to queue? We need a lookout tower. So we'll queue that up after. All right, tech-wise, we'd love exploration points if they're available anywhere. I don't know if they are. Is there a way to tell? There's no like color coding or anything, like background color coding that tells me if it's an immediate resource, for example. Without having to hover every single one of these stupid things. Engineering, 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 engineering. Doesn't 
doesn't look like there are. Okay, so what else could we do with these then? We have... Dude, why do these unhighlight? <laughs> Wait, what did it, what happened that my bone my resources are gone? How do I get those back? Yeah, I need my bonus resources back. Top minimap button. I think that's it. I just tried that, right? It didn't change that. Now they're back. It was a bug. And this doesn't, this one? That doesn't do it either. No, it's nothing to do with these. It's just a bug. All right, so these are farms and these are cotton. And those are sheep, which are camps or something else. Pastures. No, we tried that too. We just clicked all those. You can't suggest things that we just tried on stream because you weren't paying attention then, but they're wrong. Like if you know that's right and you weren't paying attention, fine. But if you're just guessing, come on. I just tried that. All right, so this is gonna be a ton of growth and then this is gonna be whatever these are gonna do for us. But none of this is, so what does cotton produce? Cotton produces wealth, but what, okay, what interacts with cotton? Some of the other ones give the give the chain. Maybe it's not even till the next tier. We're trying to figure out what tech might yield uh, might take cotton. So this converts wheat to flour. That's gonna be good for the one city. This produces converts logs, but we don't we're not tapping logs. Grapes or rice to wine. But these are not those. Wool or cotton or flax, that's the one to wealth. So it's just more wealth generation. Alright, let's go with food first, which was community, and then we'll come back for that. Okay. Alright, government's at 15. I want improvement points per turn, so we'll take that. All right, this is six turns away from being able to be a next. Okay. Have looked at the combat strengths of this. How does this go? Get wrecked. Yeah, no good, no good. Shouldn't have made that attack. I wonder if the unit dies now. It probably does. Okay. Oh, the barb camp, uh, camp itself can't attack. I guess. I guess here would make no sense to do that. We just go there instead. Wait, what do we do? Go there. Oh, I can't go through their borders, so I should go around, I guess. Okay. Okay. So how quickly does this thing heal. Palisade walls 67%. Is it is that a melee thing or it's just their attacking units thing? I think it's just an attacking units thing, right? Can I attack it with just the archer? I don't know. I think I, I think we have to wait one turn here. All right, we got a culture power. We could raise an army again, absorb an outpost, which we don't have. Local reforms, create a town. We already have created towns some max here. Oh shit, there's a warlord right there. That's bad news, huh? 
It's two more turns for this can get back. It's three turns. Well, that's a bummer. Can't use volunteers. All right, so we're gonna culture raise army here, sadly. Okay. All right, and then you guys can chill. Government's at seven. We're building what in here? Building food stockpile. Okay. All right, scout this way. Scout that way. All right, coming back to there. Where's the warlord? Did he kill himself on one attack? I guess he might have. Died on one attack, nice. Okay, so I guess these guys can move to the edge of my borders. And wait. We're at 23 exploration. We're getting one from region here. Okay, it's just one per turn. It's 25 for our first upgrade, right? Yeah. Okay. All right. All right, I need three units to go there. So you guys are going to here. You're going to there. You're going to there and chilling. This is a warrior unit, but it's scouting. Don't want to end turn immediately. This should be annexable. Is it annexable now? 25 to integrate annoyingly. I'm not spending any more government points until then. The city is currently building a lookout tower after it's finished its food. Are we at 200%? 163 here. And stockpiling improvement points. Okay. I can't improve these while I don't own this city, right? Or can I? I cannot. Okay. All right, same problem, 16 needs 25. 25 is a point for us though. Let's grab forging from unimproved tiles. I am not convinced this is a long-term good thing. Do we really want a bunch of unimproved forests being the... I guess we are. All right, so, I mean, that's what we've set up to do. All right, so these are now two one tiles, which are quite a bit better than they've been. These are three zero. This feel kind of dead end to me. We're growing three, right? What are we being attacked by? Who is this? Oh, barbarian attack, I see. Okay. Archer got pretty beat up. Oh no, does that mean the boat's gonna kill us? Guess we'll find out if it can kill us. All right, we got community tech was for the conversion. We wanted belief next, right? All right, 25 to a next, we're not there. Naturalist is six, it's fine, okay. All right, I wanna go slam into this barb camp. Do I need to heal longer? It's full health again. 
I don't know. I have a very hard time getting a, like, there's no combat preview. Guess we'll heal one turn and find out. There's a combat prediction? Where? So if we're there, where's my combat prediction? Tooltip bottom, damage number dealt. Taken light damage, dealt medium damage, win, loss, draw 100%. I just want to know if I'm losing units or not. I think we'll wait one turn anyways. The rivers do anything? I haven't seen them do anything yet. They may do something, but I don't know what they are yet. All right, 25 to integrate is in three turns. No, we're making three. It should be next turn. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and grab this guy. All right, we want to uh, civic, not civic, it's gather, farm, work one wheat, which shouldn't, oh, but it gets a second bonus, okay. And this is gather. I guess we don't have to do it this turn, but we're gonna want to. Wait, why is it giving me one wheat? Should be two, right? Is it a plantation instead? With plantation, one rice. Hey, isn't this wheat? Wheat is yellower and broader. It's rice. I don't even want to work then. Why is grassland? Oh, wait, why is grassland giving three? I thought the tech we chose was forests. No, it's all unimproved tiles. Okay, um, in that case, don't need to improve this. We want to work that. We actually want to delete this. Maybe not. Maybe we don't need the points yet. Let's take an attack there. I've got a million improvement points that I was saving for this new town because I thought we were going to have a ton of growth here. But it doesn't actually look like we do have a ton of growth here. So what are we doing with this? I mean, is wealth useful to us right now? I don't even know. I've cleverly invested in a sieve that doesn't require improvements and then I've made improvements. I'm not sure how I feel about this. I feel pretty bad about it. <laughs> a weird system sometimes. I do want a kiln in here. I guess I'm deleting this to place a kiln. Kiln can't go here anyways, right? Or can it? Can. All right, we want to lock that. Two, one, two, one. We want those worked, okay. All right, it's 27. This guy is coming back to be useful. This guy is trying to learn about the world. This guy is doing fuck all. Uh, we have finished. This is the center point of the new city, huh? We want a lookout. 
but growth is going to be less good than I thought it was. I thought we were going to have a ton of food that we could build off the land. Kind of annoying that we don't. I did. did I see the wheat tile in the city near your unit. Uh, maybe I didn't. I want to grab Dolman here, I guess. What uh, are you talking over here? I don't see any wheat tiles anywhere. The purple city, not the purple city. Far right. Why? Why did? Oh, you're wanting to compare. That's a very similar icon, isn't it? Okay. All right, my team is not doing anything here. I'm gonna send reinforcements, maybe. Good here. The barb kills us if we stay here. All right. I uh, finished our lookout tower. We need a crane, a meeting hall, a council, an encampment, and a work camp. We want council for knowledge. Okay. All right. Uh, you're fine. Where's the next unit? There. Other next unit? There. Dude, how do I reset its movement? I don't want to go there. I want to go here. I guess that's how I do it. Okay, they're healing. Try another attack without this, but... The barb camp's not healing that much either. Alright, this is pop two. Working raw food, that's okay. Are we ever gonna steal this thing or no? Maybe not. How do we get production then? Naturalist at 11. I want that one. Maybe. Tribal here. I want that one. Could use another settler. We're getting expanded on over there. We're starting to generate engineering points. Warfare's at 22, 25 for another summon. What am I doing with this shit? I've got 35 improvement points again. Saw pit makes lumber super valuable, but we can't build lumber without improving this. I think this forest people are a fucking trap. Or maybe rather this is a trap and it should be reduce the cost of expanding to forest here. I feel like I just got trapped by this, so I'm going to restart. I feel like we just got massively punished by engaging with a, a cultural mechanic that I don't ever wish to engage with again. All right. Let's try that again. Can change the difficulty on this, I guess. Have to do this for all of them, huh? I just clicked continents because it doesn't save my previous selections. It defaults to continent. Okay. No problem. Ooh, yellow seems like it'd be a good color. Not a lot of yellow empires. All right, new nation builder, yellow. They may use the, was it Germany? German cities, German towns. 
I want culture again. Create. Oh, I didn't call it a name. Shit. Oh, yeah, I called it yellow. Where's yellow? There's yellow. But I didn't get the right flag at the end of all that. Oh, no. All right. True yellow. Okay. And then I have to select them. All right. Yeah, starting scout could be good too. I just like the culture. I think the starting scout would be interesting as well. It seems um the the goodie huts seem very RNG and they seem very strong. All right, I'm gonna live with the start. It seems fine. All right, so what are we trying to do with this particular start? We've gone scout the last two times, and we built one last time. I liked at least two scouts. I could see the initial one being nice too. I think I'm doing that again. Okay. Immediate barb over there. Immediate goody hut there. Knowledge or culture, we'll take knowledge. Will we? Yeah, we will. It's a super fast scout if we do that, right? Okay. What are we working? I didn't look. Good. Does that mean there's a barb camp up there for fighting this barb here? Or does or do they spawn randomly? Are they always associated with camps? Okay. Yeah, but it's turn two, so they shouldn't have been able to move very far, right? If they move around. So scout out here. Uh, I gotta say, for Pangea, we look a lot like there's a bunch of water around us. Goody hut there. Uh, we could raise army right now. Hard to pass that town, though. Town right there seems solid. Alright, take a uh, tech there. We need plantations. So what did this do? Let me upgrade my military. I'm gonna go farming first then into that, but I might, I kind of want to try that. Local reforms is way better early. I don't really care what, um, about anyone suggesting, just, uh, just stating an opinion without any backup for that. Uh, I can give you my argument. My argument is uh, raw tiles are pretty weak. We ran out of tiles very rapidly, building the production chains, getting expansion going early was important. The town seemed to greatly improve uh, my ability to expand. Um, 50% yields when I don't have any base yields doesn't seem like that big of a modifier. I also like local reform once I had some basic production up or basic uh, production up. All right, I'll turn that off. All right, Barb chasing us. Let's go there. Exploration or government, we'll take government. Uh, what can we get with this government? First tribal is food or a war band. This is 20 to get the improvement points going. Food is what on here? This is, these are all wealth building ones. Probably will take that food. Another, I mean, another military unit. I'm not gonna be able to beat a barb camp with the base one militaries, I don't think. I'm taking food again. There. Okay. All right. Culture research. 
What are we building? We have second pop. Still want growth. We are producing very little here because we have very little production. Scout next turn. Okay. I want to get to there. Grab the goody hut with the warrior. More government would be great. Let's grab the uh, improvement points or knowledge. Didn't we already get a knowledge boost too? Like another knowledge boost here probably gets us first pick. I feel like we need improvement points here though. This is real weak land or not real weak land, but these the gold yields don't seem helpful early. What are we improving for though? Random hunting camps, random forester, pastures down here later. We have no pastures in our intro, but we could get more over there later. I think I want to take this science, but I don't know. Still playing. I'm just experimenting really. All right, what are we gonna produce here? Dolmen for border expansion, I think. I gotta take some free military units at some point, I guess. Wait, why did that barb heal so much? When we were both outside of borders, I guess we're okay there, I guess it's defensive bonuses. All right, go there. Oh, they discovered it? Did they discover it last turn? Do we miss that by one turn? We may have. It's annoying. All right. That's how much? 15 and two. Okay, travel at six. Get a military unit for six if we want it. I think I want to start, I don't even know. Like this doesn't look like a good settlement pattern, does it? Like there's no like space. I mean, maybe down here, I guess. So we'll see. Did that unit kill itself? I think it did. This is my other military unit. This is my scout. Goody hut there. All right, we got farming done. We want workers as improvement points, but it's been a bit of a scam, honestly. Let's try defenses. We haven't gone this yet. Let's see what it actually does for us. We should maybe read what it does for us before just clicking, but. All right, we get military points when we do it, only five. Spawns an ar spawn an archer at your homeland. Gets us archer production and gets us, adds additional defenders each capital in town, okay. If you want to play for your third town filthy, I'd recommend building an outpost between the wheat cotton. I can't build outposts till I have um, engineering points, right? Because it's a it comes out of the pioneer. So aren't I like miles away from being able to build an outpost anyways? Alright, so what else are we waiting on? Production and growth. Right, let's grab our goody hut. Exploration or a scout cav. Get the scout cav, I think. Let's go this way. Let's go this way. Go that way. Is that a bar? But is. Let's go there. Culture power for raise army, local reforms, or oh, can't create another town. Let's go local reforms now. Okay. We're at 10 government. Okay. Border expansion. Hey. 
All right, undiscovered landmark. Let's go discover that. Barb not attack us, it just stood there. It's annoying. Okay. 15, 25. Want another scout if we want it. I don't really want it. Dude, he's he can attack the substructure. Did he kill himself on the substructure? I guess he did. Want to deny me the experience while still being annoying? I see. Sure. Got an archer here. Being chased by barbs there. Sure. Alright. Finish this. Did we get three? We did not get three, sadly. Right, let's go Age of Bronze. I think we're first. I don't know if that's true. Alright. Uh, we got another pop here. Still have almost nothing in this city. Zero improvements right now is pretty rough. We have 10 improvement points. What could we do? Can we build anything right now? Just a hunting camp, which is entirely useless. Okay. In those tiles though <laughs> what that's worth all right i want to heal there i want to go kill that barb kind of curious where the barb camp is so i'm going to go there This town is zero production, huh? Government at 18. I mean, this could be improvement points now, or it could be settler. I think it's settler next. Okay. Any worker tech? Do I, though? What do I get from worker tech? It's annoying they didn't attack us here. Another goody hut's nice. Alright. Settler at 30. We're going to go back to population point down. Exploration. Do I want another scout here? Not really, but what else am I doing? Maybe. Go. All right, the barb ignored anything reasonable. the goody hut this is a lot of goody huts which has been nice grab the warfare experience there i suppose barb camp there all right i want to move past this thing but let's see how we do that let's heal in there all right, we finished our dolmen for border expansions. Uh, I'll take a town center. And a couple turns on our settler. 
All right, I still need production. I have a little bit of points here, but what am I getting for production here? Like, how, what, what, like what do we even do here? I guess it would be some sort of mine or some sort of forest improvement. I guess I could just drop a forester, huh? Not a lot of trees in this area, though. Are we going to see anything else around it? Like, are we ever going to build this again? Is this worth our points to invest in this? For one more hammer? I mean, it's 20%, 25% increase in hammers, I guess. Oh, does it give away? It gives up the food? Well, fuck that then. Yeah, that seems pretty bad, huh? Could slop a plantation on one of these. It's just gold per turn. I don't know what route we're going, though. So cotton was wealth and it was more wealth. Olives became something else, though, right? No, still wealth. Wine was something else? Wine was... It's all wealth for now. I guess I'm not doing it then. I'm just waiting. Culture powers up again. I think this is just gonna be another local reforms. Could be our oh it's Eureka's knowledge. Okay. Alright, looks like we picked the next era. What do we do with this? This is us, I believe. Okay. Wait, where did I see the age bonuses again? I clicked through it too quickly. There was something interesting like vassals come back faster or some such shit. All right, we're first, so we have first options at all of these. Although the, the amount we get is less. Top left, the two scrolls. No. Oh, up here. Vassals integrate two times faster. Barbarian warlords may appear, okay. All right, so what could we do? A new scrubland-based resource elephants. Bonus from meat goods. So we have the same problem. What do we do with money? And what do we do with all these plantations? So mound builders we've done once. God king we've done once. So this is a grassland focus. I mean, there's a fair amount of grassland around here. It's also a fair amount of forest down here. Don't know what's up there yet. do get a wide variety of rewards based on how many allied nations compete doesn't seem like a thing you're doing very often early this looks awful Home builders we like these but we've done them both already we haven't checked either of these yet So this spawns warfare experience from going into combat, makes our units free. We get gold from raising improvements. I didn't even know about that. Gain health from victory later. I 
And the other plays are basically this garbage, which we did and hated. Bone goods and ivory, it's camps and elephants, presumably. These don't seem very good. What was the forest stuff? The forest stuff was mound builders, right? Minus 50% construction cost for farm, but farm is not plantation, which is what it's going to be over here. Resource cost of expansion to grassland is reduced, but it's third tier. Burial mounds are really nice, though. Just culture right off the bat. And God King was the stone stuff. Let's try Raiders. Have enough for these, huh? Spawn two Raider Band units at a friendly settlement. Spawn two Raider Band units at your homeland. I can see the wealth upkeep going being okay, but we're gonna have plantations for wealth. So this is probably, it's between these for me. This one's cheaper. This is, I guess, four raider bands. I don't know if I wanna move four raider bands around right now. Let's go see what we can do. Oh, they're 30, attack 12. What is the 30 then, HP? Movement, that's movement, they're fast. What about, can I tell if they do anything special? What are they strength-wise? They were 11, 12, 12, 11. And what's their basic warrior? Basic warrior is seven tens. So they're quite a bit better than basic warriors. All right, I want to go clear this barb camp. Okay, tech-wise, what do we want? Do we want something back from here? I don't want tribal elders. Or workers. Maybe this is our only source of production is workers. Let's grab workers. Okay. We're at four pop, but we aren't doing anything. How do we feel about that? Pretty bad. Next turn's a settler. I don't think there's anything that stops me from improving here. What we're we gonna do? We're gonna build kilns, huh? All right. Should've done that ages ago if I was gonna do it, but we're making this shit up as we go along. Where is this? There's another goodie hut, but where's the raider camp that was spawning that? Goodie hut raider camp there. I think two warriors and an archer can handle that camp. I guess I'm not 100% sure. Another goodie hut there. Got a lot of value out of these goodie huts. Which is good, because I feel like we're not getting a lot of value out of much else right now. Doesn't bring me over here, huh? Okay, spawn the settler. All right, where are we settling to? Right there. I wanna block these guys out of my bases. That's pretty nice too. Down this way for sure. All right, took one of our pop points. I want the plantation worked and two there. I'm going down with little people here, okay. All right, 
There's the barb camp. Engineering or warfare experience? Do we level off warfare? I think we do, right? Probably some value in engineering still to get that first pioneer. But we'll take the uh, warfare. Another goody hut. Alright, tech done. Let's grab the last one of those. Alright, we have availabilities here. Spawn two more Raider Band on either of them. Raider Band's 10 movement or additional gold from raising. I haven't seen a raise yet. And movement seems solid. Let's grab movement. Okay. Two more Raider Bands, huh? All right. Reject proposal. All right. Do I want to be up against this mountain? Not particularly. Why am I settling here as opposed to like there? What am I trying to do here? I'm trying to block these guys in and acquire resources. Scrublin's fine. I don't really care about the fish. Do I ever settle two tiles away from a resource? Feels like no. Feels like that's what you build your cities for. Feel like that's a better tile. If I did that, where would they go from there? I think I'm still going to settle there. Alright, uh, bringing this guy down. There's a camp over here. It's probably dead already. Kind of want to go try raising. Let's go there. Grab the goody hut. Grab improvement points. Whatever. Let's take knowledge. Go there. Get the scout out of the way. Bring the warriors in that way. Move away from the barb. Scouting, Got the goody huts, 30 warfare and 5 chaos. Or gain a spear, or gain 20. Let's gain 20. Do we have another promotion out of this? 60 for our next one, unless we want this one as well. It's a lot of units for spawning for free. Alright, went and backfilled that. Let's go for discipline all right I've got 15 production points what are we doing with them probably upgrading again this is grown I really need production somewhere I suppose I should build the production building huh it's the clay pit all right let's make sure that's worked Food, grow, okay. Already negative income. Oh, I didn't even notice. Thanks for pointing that out. All right. So I want to settle here. I want to go see what I can do with raiders. How strong of a fight is this? Pretty good. Okay. It's a barbarian warlord there. It's kind of annoying. Finished our town center. 
I'm gonna need gold and food. Knowledge would be nice. I just went back for that, but our production's so bad. This is essentially forever. Maybe we have to build a work camp. I'm gonna build the food structure first, though. All right. Anything else we can do right now? We're at six. We're at seven improvement, which is not enough. Is that another barbarian right there? It is, but a baby barb. Oh, he's gonna pillage our shit, though. Motherfucker, where did he even come from? It's annoying. They rebuilt their wall, apparently. Didn't quite kill it next turn, I guess. I guess we could look here. We could go backfill another one. Zero upkeep raiders. How many do we have right now? Seven from unit upkeep. Okay. All right. I did pillage my improvement, which is insanely annoying. And now I have to waste uh, points that I don't have for this. Great. Let's go see what pillaging is like. I can't get this scout out of here anymore. Exploration points. I could teleport him back. could just delete him. Uh, let's regroup here. Okay. Shit, didn't mean to end turn there. Just for now. Like what? Like what's going on over there? Don't know. Okay. Uh, let's grab the goodie hut. Take. Innovation is almost full already. Let's take knowledge. I don't know if I want to attack into there or not. I think I don't. Let's clear this camp. Okay. Culture or wealth. We'll take culture. It's with culture, raise army, Eureka, absorb outposts, local reforms. All right, let's get in there and attack the barb group. All right, I guess we finished another tech. What does this do for us? Gives us spears, chariots. Restore some of the army's health and morale at the cost of combat experience. Fully restore movement points of an army at the cost of health. Increase my army max size. All right, we need some sort of production here. I don't mind belief. Community gives us engineering. Oh wait, this is the one that wheat or rice to flour. We want community, okay? All right, our champ is still alive. We're here, we could attack there. Do we know the strength of this? We don't, or rather it seems too strong. I guess I could scout this tile. All right, uh, what else do we have? We have 30 points here. What is the two and raider? Could be here. Save that for next turn. We could try the healing. Government's at 16. I wanted to spawn. I'll take community projects, I guess. Why can't I not move into here? Because I'm not at war with them. How do I do that? Who is open borders? Declare hostilities. Okay. Can I move in now? No. Okay. Okay. 
Can I upgrade the spears? Uh, oh, the warriors, right? Now, let's see. We killed the barb camp there. Great. Or so the the warlord. All right. Uh, let's do our scouts. All right, the upgrade cost me three warfare. Yes. Still have their movement too. How much stronger are spears, by the way? 11, 16, pretty strong. I don't know if we can upgrade archers, I should have looked. Let's bring reinforcements down to harass that guy. Can't move, I declared hostility, but I can't move into his borders. Three turns for the next diplomatic action. Okay. All right, city's at four. What does this mean? Uh, we're wounded. Government's at seven. We have 38 warfare points. Could be healing units, but I kind of want to go for pillaging. All right, we got to get some production going. We have that, I guess. Oh wait, right, this was the other game. <laughs> I just chose a tech based on something that we're not actually doing right now. All right, we don't actually care about rice right now. Wheat and flour. This is a kiln improvement. It still matters for community though. Okay, we'll take kilns then. Okay. They do seem very snowbally right now, these raider guys. Let's see if we can upgrade the archer, we cannot. Just so many free units. It's kind of wild. All right, Barb Camp defeated. Let's take government experience for that. Let's get down this way. of exploration going on the larger map I don't know if this was a larger map or just larger um, connected mass because we're on Pangea but more scouts has been good with this we should probably get um, a leader upgrade however we do that in a minute government's at 31 what can we do with this you can get innovation and culture we're already pretty close to the max cap on that though I don't really want to do it yet I don't think the second one helps we could spawn another settler is there a reason to it seems like an okay settlement in this area somewhere. A lot of space for random reasons. I want to be able to eat this as soon as it's there. Seven turns though, it's a while. Don't really care. Okay. All right, when will I be able to do diplomacy? One more turn, okay. All right. Should look at what our reinforcing works how it works and what does it what does it do do there in a minute i guess all 
All right, uh, city's at four. We're teching for the next production building. We have 16 of these. Um, this unit is there. I didn't think we killed the archers, so it's weird that we're there. So what do we have for warfare? We have volunteers spawn a spear. Does it, does it matter where? Can't just spawn it on the map. Looks like it has to be at least in my city. Or I can reinforcements or force march. Okay. And the other one was a heal, right? So I could heal these guys if I wanted to. Don't think I do. All right. Uh, I mean, we could get another spear, I suppose, through the government. Maybe six is fine here. Let's grab a uh, raised tribal army. Wait, how did I do it? Where, where is it? Oh, it's a thing. Ew. It's six to unlock the ability and ten to use it? Okay. It's a lot of government points for a stupid uh, level one warrior. All right, we can see what our new diplomacy is. Declare war, you bet. Okay. All right, what can we do? 52, what's our next one? 60. this tech this is probably need one more to get out of here huh? mining officials and belief belief is tech what is officials diplomacy let's take belief all right we finished our food stockpile on the cap let's get a council all right 52 still waiting on that what does this mean? This means we're still healing? Okay. Uh, we have the tech now for the next building here, which was a kiln. All right. So this city should work the clay pit and the kiln. Still two grasslands. That's fine. All right. Look at that border expansion. Go, go. All right. Innovation Raider Archers. Unlock Bow Raider. You bet. Can I upgrade this guy to a Bow Raider? No. Right, they have a 74 and a 51 strength unit, a 19 strength unit there. I want to do pillaging. Raise, gain 40 wealth. Oh, did it, did it inst- or did it just stop them there? This doesn't actually seem that good for us, does it? We're gonna get caught if we're not careful there. Let's keep moving. Alright, I gotta figure out how I can promote a leader there. See what that does for us. Uh, what are we at? Thirty-nine fifty-four. I should have taken this. What was the promo? Oh, it's sixty. That's what the promotion was. Okay. All right, nothing to do with exploration. Engineering way too low. Waiting on this for government. Government in one. Uh, reject proposal. Leaders have terrible movement speed. Who knew? Okay. 
So we pillage that. We can go pillage this now. Let's go to there. Go to there. Let's open this guy up. Keep scouting. Finished a something. So where is this? This is a bow raider. Attack 15 compared to archers of attack 6. Let's build some bow raiders. They sound nice. Food stockpile, work camp, crane. It'd be nice to have improvement point generation. Oh, this is a new city. Oh, we need a dolmen in here. What's the old city doing? Council. And are we possibly growing in here? Uh, we need a lot more food to grow. And why Kimono unit has an elite badge on it? What does an elite badge look like? I guess we'll look next turn. We got our innovation. We want our next government when we can at 25. All right, where did that stupid barb go? Oh, right there. I'm retreating back here to help with uh, that group. Still at five. Government's at 20. We need 25 for that. I mean, I'm getting a bunch of units and we're able to kill the barb camps. It's been nice. And we are, are near our enemies, but our enemies seem to have equally strong units here. 16 improvement points. Anything worth anything here? Mill and a pasture, pasture, but they don't help us at all right now. Uh, this city could use improvements. Pasture here would be good, right? What does it do, pasture? It is exploration experience. It's not actually that useful. So a mine there. Farm gives us meat, leather, and exploration. That's I mean that's actually pretty decent. Let's grab one of those. Make sure we're working that. Okay. Oh, I forgot we can, our army size increased. We should do that too. All right, fuck these guys for being so annoying. All right, we're killing units over here for some reason. Forest, forest. Why does it want to bring me next to the barbs? What is this? I just gank a settler? I just ganked the settler. Didn't kill it in one shot, though, interestingly. All right, what's the next promotion we can get here? Extra damage versus militia. And spawn two more, okay? Let's bring these down this way. Just a million free units, huh? Let's go there. Another 
another goodie hut there, nice. Map is big, dude. So we can combine these to make these four, right? Nice. Okay. I feel like there's something we should be doing here. Eight improvement points only. Money's okay. Government's 25 for the next one we want, right? Okay. They've moved. I'm surprised we're healing so slowly here. I thought it was 10% outside of your territory. Was that a scout unit? And that's another... It's a settler. Kill that. We should. Okay. The Blood Age crisis grows stronger as you kill non barbarian units. Breaches maximum. You're forced to settle the Blood Age. Well, maybe we'll go to a Blood Age. What of it? Alright, let's get our next government. Exactly. Blood for the Blood God. Production on Munich, yes. All right, government resources being spent, warfare at 20. Production didn't finish this apparently, but that's still a lot. City's at five, looks like it's still border expanding, kind of weirdly. How many production points? Eight right now. What's the cost of either of these? Too much. Unless we got a hunter's camp in our borders, which we don't. Okay. Isn't the Age of Blood bad? I think they are um, just a different type of thing, right? So if we check the tech. Age of Blood. Nah, I think it'll be good. Sounds like something we want to do. Is that another Ottoman unit? That's a, no, it's not. It's not a barb either, right? It's a Spanish unit, I see. Okay. Let's kill that. Four of six, let's go there. Don't really want to attack into this quite yet. Let's go there. Let's go there. Cultural power, raise army, a spear and an archer. Okay. All right. Twelve points. We're level or pop two in here now. What can we build? We can build a plantation here at sixteen. Or a mine there. Uh, we actually don't have the tech for that, right? So if it can one hunting, dwelling, clay pit, dock, farm, fishing boats, forester. Okay. All right. Let's go kill that unit. Go for our Blood Age. All right, that unit has gone to there, which seems good for us. 
How fast? Can this unit go there, then attack? Yes. Did we kill ourselves? That's our morale. Our morale broke. Whatever that means. Is there like a penalty for attacking across a river or anything? There's an attacking of a river penalty. Is it just warriors? How, how are they so strong compared to us? They have like no attack and defense. Why are they doing so well when we're like twice as strong? Also, can we focus fire units like normal people? They have a leader I don't have. Why is leader... Leader was not a lot last time though. God, they're so close to dead, but they're not dead. I'm gonna have to look at some of those in a minute. See what the hell is going on with uh, everyone's units being different like this. All right, we have 42 points here. Can we heal? I think there was a heal option. Health and morale at the cost of... Okay. Got a tech. That's our third. We're going for Blood Age. Let's go. Wait, do you mean Age of Iron? We need one more. Shit. What happens if I start attacking this and I kill one more unit? Does it force me to retech? Grab officials. It's cheap. We have everything behind it already, right? Yeah. Sixteen points is another upgrade. We need, um, I guess we would like two wine, I guess. I mean, what are we building right now? We unlocked mills and pastures, hunting camps, press and saw pit. What does press do? Enforcer. These are all kind of bad. Switch from officials to age of blood next turn. I know, but I don't want to waste the, I don't want to waste the tech turn. Oh, you mean, yes, I can go. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I, I thought you meant age of iron for that. Yep. I will switch. Improve that. I guess we can improve a second one. How do I even tell if this is improved? Because it has a road through it? I want that. How long till we get there? Very soon. Okay, we'll wait. Alright, uh, we could get another scout. I don't know why I would want another scout. Uh, we could do more of this stuff, but we need that for lots of reasons. Government stuff is fully taken. All right, let's end turn. They left it there. All right, farmed. All right, so what happens now if we go to we go to the Age of Blood? Okay. Uh, my first impressions, it's more complicated. It's got a lot of new systems in it that I haven't really evaluated yet. Balance seems a little off to me. Speed is slower than I'm used to, but not necessarily a bad thing. It might just be a different thing. All right, I have more units there. This is the Spear Spear Archer. Uh, stack right yeah let's combine there I guess going to pillage some more scouting all right we finished the dolmen in our ex first expansion let's grab a meeting hall's diplomacy crane is production points work camp is engineering points and Production. 
And food is food. Let's grab the, oh, and council's tech, right? Let's grab uh, food. Okay. Finish council in cap, looking at temple or work camp, I think. This is military experience, though. You have returned. Raiders plus 10 combat experience. Wow, eight years. I remember the XCOM LW and DD1 days. Filthy luck. Glad you're still at it. A long time ago, Death Watch. Thank you for the resub. Appreciate the uh, continued support. Do I have to build more units, you think? I don't want to build more units. I mean, Age of Blood, we're going to need an encampment, I'm sure. I don't, I don't even know why yet. I can just tell thematically. All right, what is this? 70 to get to the next one? Or we can get four more units right now. It's such a wild amount of units. All right, we get four more units. That seems to have only spawned two, though. Did I read it wrong? Spawn two raider units at a friendly settlement. Spawn two raider units at your homeland. Oh, and the power to spawn more. Hmm. Okay. All right, we good for this turn? I think we are. Shit, tons of free unit spawns and then no upkeeps is hilarious. I'm gonna pillage. What do we have for gold? 206. Five versus eighty-four. What is this? I want to undo that. I guess. I have to kill the town at some point, but I feel like I want to kill this stack first. So it's a Spartan, a leader, and a spear. Can't tell where the river goes. I think that tile is on the right side of the river. Okay. Kind of got fucking deleted, didn't we? Okay. I guess I'm healing that. this could at least reinforce one of these I didn't actually want to do that let's leave him right where he was okay wait why did they not make it in make it in that unit stopped me huh All right, what are we doing in here? Are we working anything useful? No, absolutely not. What do we have for production points? 23. What was going to happen? This was going to expand to the sheep in a minute. Okay. And then we do something about it. Why do they want open borders so badly? So what happened here? Something killed themselves attacking that. That unit stayed there. harassing them with endless free units seems strong that's the edge of the map over there all right we wanted to try the improvement here which is a, another dwelling dog farm oh it's it's a pasture 
I guess. Alright, and what does that actually look like here? One, one, okay. So unwork one of those, work one of those. This is still not a very valuable, we're at 121 food, so we're still super short food, huh? 10 of three, okay, 10 plus three, this one's at two. What are we teching right now? We're teching Age of Blood, huh? Okay. All right, they moved in. What is this? More archers. I think we can kill those. But I need to actually attack here. I mean, we can probably kill that with these two attacking through it. I'm just worried about the losses we're gonna take. I guess I could heal first. Is it across a river? Can't tell. Okay. Our two army stacks of roughly the same combat strength. We lost, or we didn't lose a unit. We did lose a unit, can't tell. I think we didn't lose a unit, took a lot of damage. Uh, do I have to move them separately or do I attack separately? Maybe I attack separately like that. Okay. All right, so these guys wanna get healed at some point. Lose a unit routed, I see. All right, do we want to end turn here? 40, 10, I'm saving up for a spawn pioneer. Don't know why, but I like them. Uh, warfare, we're waiting, we'd like to, I mean, we could spawn more raiders, which seems insane, but we could do it. Kind of would like to do our next government, which isn't here, it's here. Gain from victory health would be really nice. It's 70. All right. Uh, make food out of scrubland is true. We can. I mean, we can make the same food out of farms, right? What do we do with meat? Is there no meat conversion? Like as a tech thing? Like a building? Presses flax or olives to cooking oil. We have olives. We have one olive right now. Still is decent. That's good food. All right, let's improve our olives. Oh, I don't have a plantation yet. Okay, next turn. Rebels will attack here in four turns. The Blood Age crisis upon us. Uh, I don't know, what, why is that pop up now? Maybe that pop, but pop up was, oh I see, that's just a continual pop up saying that we are forced to tech that, okay. Uh, all right, I need something fast to go suppress shit, which I guess means a raider group is headed back. I don't really want to bring raider groups back, but I guess I can bring low hit point raider groups back. Okay. All right, I want to kill this. Great. All right, can we actually do something with these units now, I wonder? Left this turn. What is this? These have promotions, apparently. I can't 
Can't figure out how to promote units though. Okay. Should go after the towers. I think I am going after the towers, aren't I? It's not the next thing on our oh god, the scout is stuck forever. Alright, uh let's regroup. Okay, we're going to improve something at 16 as one of our plantations, right? The olive plantation. Okay. At two, at five, having some trouble. We should lock that. So that's one out of the grassland and into the plantation. Okay. All right, let's see. We haven't attacked any of this stuff, so let's see what this is like. I mean, it seems like we're much stronger than that. 2.5 attack versus unit type line. What's the point of killing the towns as opposed to the cap, like the center point? I guess, I guess today we learn. Let's find out. Jesus, for being so much stronger, we just lost a unit. Unless that's a route, but I think that's a death. Surrounding region control removed. Oh, we actually destroy it. We didn't necessarily want to destroy that. All right, let's do a quick heal. The scout suppressed uh, discontent in here. What is that icon? Unrest level four. Okay, so that's gonna trend down next turn. I did not mean to end turn there. Unit cycling at its worst. Okay. All right, I prefer to focus on the actual town interactions. This combat with free units is kind of ridiculous. All right, let's go here. I think we can kill these with this guy. Okay. All right, is this raider group strong enough? to start attacking into this. We could heal it first again. How do I tell? So if I hover here, 0% win, 20% loss, draw 80%. Total attack 11, total defense 8, 16. Looks like they built walls, I think. I have no more movement this turn. I can't attack anyways, right? So next turn we'll attack. We can heal on next turn. chill for a bit here. All right, we have four improvement points only. Got a lot of space over here, but a pretty weak production yield there. This thing is also struggling with unrest. Why is my unrest so much? Don't know. Gotta hover it again and see what it builds from. People don't like wars. 
Right, let's go ahead and warfare reinforcements here. Can only target on an injured army that's not inside enemy borders. Scammed, scammed, scammed. I guess we're triple slamming that next turn, I guess. All right, still issues with unrest in here. Is it trending down again? It's not, it's actually still trending up. Six from war unrest, seven from unnet meads, minus 12 from garrison, and two from number of regions. That is a, what, pops down to two? Weren't we at five a second ago? Is unrest killing population? Dude, didn't I have five pop there last turn? Seems bad. Well, I'm a bit spooked by that. Oh, I was getting a penalty from this that was fucking up my, so they starved to death is probably what happened you're saying? Huh. I see. Yeah. Excited about potential EU5. Yeah, I suppose I am. All right, let's try slamming this building and see what happens. So we go there and slam. Getting wrecked all the way down. Got the walls, but almost died for it, sure. Okay. And it is heal there. Go there. Slam. Still getting wrecked. And it is attack. Yeah, I should do the leader promotion thing to know. Actually, I should do that before that attack. I don't know if I can undo an attack turn or not. Looks like I can. All right, so how do I promote a leader? So take this guy, promote him to a level two leader. Okay. And he does what now? I wish I could see the amount of buffs he's giving. Does it say on somebody else? Leaders buff their armies with their tactics stat. Tactics 2. Tactics. 10% bonus to attack and defense of the army per point of tactics more than the enemy army has. Oh, look at that. Seems important. Now, if I have multiple leaders, does this work? Is there anything about having multiple leaders? They lose special actions but gain bonus to their army via the tactic stat and can be retired. Only the highest leader counts. Okay. Yeah, that maybe was better. It's kind of a big question mark, honestly. We <laughs> All right, we finished. This. We need to get a city guard. 
Bonus starved again, even though it said we had 200%. Something is still killing our guys, and I don't really understand what it is. We were in negative unrest, supposedly. I did get like a weird, like, it was a longer line there that I clicked through. <laughs> our city went from pop 5 to pop 1. Uh, we're still getting wrecked over here. How wounded is this city? We don't know. All right, let's step out. Heal. Can I double reinforcements? Looks like I can. Step back. Oh, it's the wrong. I can't on this tile. Oh, I can. Oh, and they killed my stack with the leader. It's a lot of points to do this. Region capital conquered. 20 chaos gained. And we killed a player. Alright, well hopefully that kicks us out of war so we're no longer doing whatever war exhaustion shit was happening to us. We're getting, re we're getting wrecked by something right now. I don't totally understand what it is, but... Capital attack. Oh, I see. Enemies adjacent to the capital can be attacked by the capital. Who knew? Okay, this city is burning now. We gotta get people back there to shut off that. Okay, how is... um? So, I still don't know why we've lost all these people. Minus... Turns remaining zero, minor unrest penalty, 90% regional efficiency. I mean, we're not gonna kill themselves, right? It's just gonna be the slowest growth ever for now. in there. I mean, we conquered our city. I, I'm not convinced this was actually worth it. Starved our capital to death. Didn't focus on all at all on uh, building up infrastructure. We have basically zero tile improvements. We've made it to the age of blood. We haven't even got there yet because our tech died as well. We like lose buildings or something? Why is our tech dead? I do not know why that happened that way. I need to read more tooltips there, but I was just mostly seeing what it was like to slam units around. Kind of boring to slam all the fucking shitty units around. Hmm. All right. Use wealth, true. Unrest gives you efficiency penalties region like reverse local. You're only getting 50% region value. I, but that doesn't answer the question, Axiom, right? That just telling me that my yields are reduced isn't explaining where my population is going. We even went from two to one with 200% needs met with food and two people both working food we still went from two to one last turn. So something is killing them. And it's not, it's not, if unrest is a modifier for that, 
Where is the net yields that I'm getting from that? All right. I mean, this was interesting, I suppose. I, I, I don't know if I'm, I'm not going to keep playing this one, but um, interesting to see Raiders. I think uh, what we'll do is tomorrow we'll try to do a full playthrough for the day. Oh, I see you explained my science. I want to know where my pop went. I know where I, my science tank because my pop went. My science tank because I don't know why. I guess the yield, as you're saying, not quite as much. All right. I like. To, I, I, I come back to the same thing here. Like I feel like I'm doing the same text every round. Oh, we want to see how Age of Blood works. Oh yeah, let's, let's go to the Age of Blood. That's good. Let's let's end three turns. I agree. Wait, why can't I just end turn? Why do I have to move them? Okay. Oh, I, I'm not saying that. Um, I'm not saying that I will finish the playthrough tomorrow. I just mean that today we've been doing a bunch of restarting as I play around with various systems and look at various starts and look at various um, not tech, uh, they're like civil trees almost, right? Um, but tomorrow I will attempt to to uh, not restart at all. I will just attempt to play what we have tomorrow for the full duration to get a sense of what it feels like for that as well. Okay, I assume this red tinge is the age of blood. All nations are locked into war. Unrest from war is disabled, and chaos gained from conquering regions is reduced. Military units have reduced upkeep. Early uh, earn warfare XP by killing non-barb units. New government unlocked. I wanted to see our new government. So it's two turns on the culture for our new government, so we'll do that. Uh, we should get our people back in the cities to suppress um, unrest here. Although unrest should have got a lot better, right? With uh, what just happened. Oh, new text? Uh, no. Well, brutality is different. Gladiators, barbarism. So there's different texts available here. kind of cool so far the I like the I mean this is this is the part that they are doing well right uh, the stealing of not stealing necessarily the innovating on things that other games have done about uh, era stuff I like building the building your own civ is kind of neat although I haven't found them to be super um, Super well balanced thus far. Munich, a revolutionary attack has appeared nearby. Sure, okay, whatever. I uh, just need one more turn for culture, right? So we can see the government. Let's see what the new government does. I like having all the different um, tech trees and different science trees showing up depending on decisions in the game. That makes for some nice replayability. They need to be balanced and competitive with one another to make that fun, but maybe they will be. All right, there's our new government available through, oh, it didn't. we didn't get enough culture for some reason. Probably another like penalty for all of our shit rebelling, rebelling or whatever it is, but don't really care right now. All right, now, there we go. All right, peaceful revolution to our new government. Okay. New government, imperial dynasty or kingdom. Wait, these are the ones we got normally. I thought we had, uh, I thought new government was going to be related to the Blood Age. Maybe this is Era 3? Anyway. And then we have level 4 there. I don't want these. Sure. Okay. Okay. Chat. Um, that's going to do it for me today, though. Uh, we will pick this up tomorrow. We're going to dive into... Um, no restarts tomorrow. Or rather, we'll get, our, we'll get our start going and we'll play that start with the intent to see what the late game looks like. 
Today we poked around quite a bit in the early game with a couple of different um, couple of different starts. I don't think my my overall prognosis has changed very much uh, since yesterday. I am still enjoying exploring the systems. I'm still finding the UI quite unpleasant. I am finding um, that the systems to be fairly complicated, but the information presentation isn't such that it's very easy to absorb those. So it's taking a minute to do that. Um, I'm a little concerned about the fact that this is a skirmish map, single player versus AI that seem kind of whatever, very passive, they feel like to me. Um, but we'll see. Maybe the diplomacy system gets better as we invest more in it more. But um, at the moment, it seems like a, I don't know, kind of ugly, kind of slow, uh, a little worried about the balance. Um, systems are a little convoluted, maybe. Uh, but we'll see. We'll give it a, we'll try to give it a full playthrough tomorrow. Uh, anyways, I'll be back then. Have a good one and uh, see you tomorrow.